Get him. I only got one. Got him. Is he running? Yep, I got him. Behind you. Shit. Oh, he got me. Get him. I only got one. Got him. Is he running? Yep, I got him. Oh, behind you. Shit. Oh, he got me. Get him. I only got one. Got him. Is he running? Yep, I got him. Behind you. Shit. Oh, he got me. Get him. I only got one. Got him. Is he running? Yep, I got him. Oh, behind you. Shit. Oh, he got me. Get him. I only got one. Got him. Is he running? Yep, I got him. Behind you. Shit. Oh, he got me. Get him. I only got one. Got him. Is he running? Yep, I got him.
Oh, behind you. Shit. Oh, he got me. Get him. I only got one. Got him. Is he running? Yep, I got him. Behind you. Shit. Oh, he got me. Get him. I only got one. Got him. Is he running? Yep, I got him. Wickedy, 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 what's up gamers and game fans alike? Mayhem here, coming at you from Scum, the survival game. You know the one. It's the one we're all playing right now. We're trying to get this game to grow. If you like what you're seeing, definitely consider trying the game out. It's amazing. What's up, JLK? Thanks for joining us. Hope you're alright. I see what you were saying there in the Discord, man. Pulling fire alarms for no reason. It's pretty serious. That sort of thing that people do, though, right? Somebody wants attention or thinks it makes them kind of cool or edgy. It's it's not really. It's calling. It's crying wolf, and it makes the the whole situation less safe for the people around them, which is very inconsiderate. But you know, such is life. Anyway, we're doing things a little bit differently today. Uh, we're playing with a new friend, whose name I'm going to omit currently. I'm going to try not to say it because he's asked not to be on stream at the moment. He doesn't want his voice transmitted. So my Discord friends are going to be in the background for me, but I have them muted for the stream. If you hear a one-sided conversation, that'll be the reason. And I will try to, uh, I'll try to bring forward anything with my vocalizations that's relevant to the gameplay. Uh, we'll see how this goes. It's an experiment. I'm trying to respect his wishes. Max penalty is 60 days of juvenile detention with a thousand dollar fine. Man, that's a whole lot. That's a whole lot for a young man. Hopefully it doesn't end up following him through his whole life. As long as he's young enough, he should be okay. Alright, let's go. I'm just going to tell the boys what's happening. Alright, I am streaming now and I'm headed towards the Z3 trader with... I've got a couple of guns, a pistol for you. And... Um, Hopefully a little bit of money. Now, our new friend, do you mind me saying your name out loud? Or do you want to be anonymous? Oh, hold on. I can't hear anything. There we go. Um, one more time. Wants to be anonymous? Okay. Oh, you don't care? Oh, you're at Alpha Zero? Yeah, I'm, I'm down in Z3. Um, let's see. Do you want to start working your way over here?
How much stuff do you have on you? I mean, that's that's one option, right? You could sector spawn down here. We could buy you another backpack. But you're going to lose fame points if you do that. Well, yeah, that's true. And I've got... I've got 97 right now, so we can get you a backpack at least, some clothes, food. Okay, so it sounds like Monkey's gonna force a sector spawn just to get out of that situation. He's surrounded right now at the A0 Trader by people who are at least acting a little bit hostile, untrustworthy. And uh, concerned that if he tries to leave, he's not gonna make it too very far, so... Might as well take matters into his own hands. Find a nice big puddle to drown in. How's everybody doing today? You're still in B4. You got a gun with ammo and mags, so you can defend from players. Okay. Where did you get that? Police station? Did you buy it? You gotta have a pretty good amount of fame points to make purchases. Furthermore, shouldn't you be at school today? <laughs> Seems like it's awfully... Early. You bought it. Okay, you've got a bunch of fame points then, huh? Hey, it's Yos. Howdy, bud. You've got 87. Pretty good, man. Pretty good. Get out at 1030. Are you... Why? How? Is it a different time zone? Is it, that Well, that time zone would be in the middle of the Atlantic, so that doesn't really make sense. Keep making our way west and kind of south here. At the moment, fingers crossed, I don't really want to encounter a player. I'm being pretty loud, pretty obvious. I'm not in PvP mode at the moment. I'm just trying to travel. Of course, you always have to have a little bit of situational awareness and anticipate that there will be trouble, but I'd rather avoid it. Kid made fun of you for autism, huh? I don't understand why that gets you out of school early. I got made fun of for all kinds of things when I was in school. All kinds of things. You kicked him in the shin? Okay. Well, there you go. Little physical self-defense, right? Leave a nice bruise. So this gentleman here, Texas Cannon, who's in side chat on the server, he uh, he and D-Main and myself got into it at this Z2, Z2 city right here on the coast. That was what, what was going on yesterday off stream. I didn't realize he was Chinese with a name like Texas Cannon. I figured he was probably a fellow American. I'm sort of surprised to see him speaking exclusively Chinese in the chat. Well, surprised in one sense, not surprised in another, because this server's about 50 or 60, maybe 70% Chinese. And look at it. It's endless. 35261333391 is saying something about the A0 trader, I assume. He's probably one of the gentlemen bothering Monkey. You heard gunshots in the B4 city. What's that, monkey? You don't have sufficient funds? Oh, are you talking about the trader? Are you talking about the trader there, monkey? That's okay. It it resets at zero. You'll get you'll get all the money. Yeah, it'll be fine. You got a 45 ACP, and when you heard gunshots, you got out. That's smart. Uh-oh, Zio's having trouble. A little. Let's see if we can pull him through here. I was saying to Monkey earlier, Yos, if you want... Am I saying that right, Yos? Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, I was saying earlier... If, 
if you get kind of into a situation, we can always transfer some funds to you and, and have you sector spawn on us. So that's an option if you want to take it. Understood. Understood. Half the fun in the game is the, the early game stuff where you're doing the survival and picking olives and Yeah, pin down sucks, especially when you're early game. <laughs> he does a little goofing off, makes a character that's a melee build, but comes in with an axe. And he spawns right here at the factory in B1. Says he's got a bunch of screwdrivers and... He's ready to get a bunch of good loot, but he's pinned down on a roof surrounded by mechs, beepers, and a player. And he's not sure what to do. What's, that's what he gets for goofing off, I guess, right? Keep cruising here. Keep cruising. We're making good time. We were talking yesterday about maybe moving our operation up into the big city, which I, I think that's a decent idea. Um, my... My thought would be first I'd want pretty much everybody in the squad to have a minimum 15000 maybe $20,000 so that we could get, a, I don't know, 10 easy respawns if we need them. If we can get geared up there in the city, we don't really need to buy too much as long as we can loot and collect things effectively. But I want to have the cash reserves to respawn without needing to go back and forth to the traders. Your closest trader in that big city is C2, and it's really not an easy journey, right? You got to go uphill no matter how you do it, and into the winter, it kind of sucks. So I want to I wanna go in prepared if we're going to do that, and the travel on foot is going to be strenuous. I suppose we could all sector spawn, C2 sector spawn. Um, that's an option we might consider, but I'd rather roleplay it and do the running, and that'll take, I'm guessing, two good sessions, and we would need, um, we'd need a lot of food to get there. We could go to the B4 Trader as a, a stopover on the way, but it's going to be dangerous covering all that ground on this server. I think I'm going to go hit that Primal event. I love it. Sell everything, strip down naked, and then drown yourself. Uh, yeah, I guess we gotta stay high gamma because there's no night vision in this event. Where's this guy? I just heard him. I just heard him. Did you pull out your BCU? Oh man, you know there's an intelligence penalty for that, right? Okay. <laughs> That's pretty funny though. You should, re you should record moments like those, man. That's epic. <laughs> That's excellent. Excellent. Yeah, Z3 Trader. I'm doing the Primal event right now. Just running around with a sword, trying to gank fools. But uh, I just crossed the bridge. I'll be in the Z3 Trader in minutes. Goodness gracious. Come on. You gotta be kidding me. There we go. Goodness, that was a free kill for VB. Just standing there, shooting at us while we're sword fighting. Kinda dumb. Join in the fun, man. 
join in. Don't just stand back and snipe like a chump. Get up here in the melee. Have you a time. Okay. Yeah, this event's a whole different kind of event. I love this action. It's good stuff. Where are you, sir? Where are you? Oh, I know there's a few of us here, right? Should I take high ground? Try and get Overwatch? Up, up. Up, up. Come on, I know there's got to be more people here. What's the event look like? There's a bunch of us in this event. Where are we? Come on. <laughs> JLK is the only one I'm seeing. Where's everybody else? Oh, Monkey, when we're done with the event, or if you're not in it yet, could you promote Alpha to Clan Leader? Because he's got 5.0. Oh, my goodness. On his stuff. Let's go. Okay. I just saw a guy. Let's go. I think I've only respawned once so far. Five kills. Oh, two deaths. Five kills, two deaths. Where's everybody? There's so many people. One hour? Alpha? Cancel everything. This is scum. <laughs> He's got a girlfriend that might not agree. <laughs> sounds like you need to turn that girlfriend to a wife. That's what it sounds like. Okay. Yeah, Primal's a little bit tough at night. Definitely need to boost that Gamma. Let's go. We're getting kills here. I just feel bad. It's only these two guys. Where's everybody else? There's all kinds of people in this event. I don't see them anywhere. Come on. Come on. Where is everybody? There's everybody. Let's go. Sword fight champ, baby. How how is that possible? He was dead for like two seconds before that that arrow even hit me. Definitely feel like the processing on the arrows is different. Like the net code for how the arrows travel. So a lot of times I'll hear arrows and and then see the animation. Oh, I'm being surrounded right now. Oh. 
Let's go. You gotta be pretty fast with a gun, or with a, a bow. Gotta be really fast with a bow to beat a sword. Need really good aim. Come on. Where is everybody? We're beating up on these fools right now. I hear someone shooting. Oh, that's bad. Oh, I can't see anymore. Oh, okay. All right, you got me, BB. Fair play to you. Fair play. I had to take a straight a straight path in, and he knew it because I had that rock on my right and a cliff on my left. Not really a cliff, but a, a drop. So there was only one lane for me to travel through. It's actually a pretty decent position for him. What time is it? it? Seems like the sky is getting light, but it should be the middle of the night right now. Got him. Let's go. Keep it up, baby. Keep it up. No, no, no. How is that a miss? So stupid. Dude, his lag's ridiculous. That's the second time that's happened where I killed him first on my screen and then I die after he's dead. What time is it? It's 6.07? I thought it was... Yeah, I thought it was like midnight for some reason. Guess I was wrong. Pleasant surprise. Fair trade, fair trade. I accept that. You have 30 seconds left. You got 30 seconds. Where is everybody? Come on, we need that last minute. Seconds left. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, got one, two, one. Game over. <laughs> that was fun. Sheesh. Seventeen and six. Not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, let's keep traveling. Keep traveling here. Which way is which? I need to go, like, east or something? Northwest? There we go. Yeah, I think Alpha's lag is making the events really hard for him. Which is too bad. He's rubber banding all over the place. I think he's struggling to really keep pace because he can't aim properly when it's like that. But I'm glad he's playing with us anyway. It's especially bad today because of all the, the people on the server. I'm getting rubber banding just walking around, which normally doesn't happen. But we'll keep it cruising. Ain't gonna bother us. Clearly, we can still kill like that. Man, I got a lot of fame points from that event. I got a lot. I think there's a, a small amount of um, fame point gain for any kill you get during an event. Because the events I've done with higher kill counts, I seem to come out with more fame points. And it doesn't... I don't know that it's related to anybody's rank within the game, right? When you kill a player out here in survival mode you get a portion of their fame points. I don't know if it works that way in the events or not. It's something to kind of keep track of over time, though. I'd like to find out. All right, we need to find a bush because I am exhausted. I thought that character that you chose has a bald head to begin with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. The 
yet, won't, but you could try. Whoever last put the lock on it has ownership of the vehicle, and you won't be able to sell it unless you're that person. Of course, if you ever see one without a lock, you know, you could pop your lock on it, take it off, and then sell. Yeah, the, the vehicle selling system's kind of visual bug or something, some kind of visual bug in it, because it, it appears that you should be able to sell it when you're in the trader menu, but then when you actually try, it says you're not allowed to perform this operation or, or something like that. If you're just missing the fame points, you can go out on the road to the that leads south out of the trader and search the log piles by the barricades. Grab a log and walk around with it on your shoulder. You'll gain strength and fame. Nothing makes a man more famous than carrying a log on his shoulders. Ooh, let's find another bush, man. I'm getting exhausted. Easy. I'm doing good, though. I'm almost there now. I'm, I'm about to go past the airplane hangar. Carrying a bit of weight, though, so I have to keep stopping. Ain't bothering me. Because at least it means I'm building strength and constitution and dexterity now, too. What is it that you'd like to purchase, monkey? You need a little bit of everything, then. Well, I'm coming in. We'll get you kitted up here. Not a problem. Yeah, strength building's definitely a big deal. I found out last night one of the best things you can do is just throw a whole log in your backpack and you run around with that weight on your shoulders and you build strength pretty quickly. Burns calories though, you gotta have food with you. It's a good feeling getting that strength up because you know it's gonna make everything easier in the game. Okay, here we are. We're gonna meet with Monkey. There you go. Best put that on right there. Gave him a holster with a handgun in it. Now you're a dangerous man. And this fella is going to buy this, and I think that's it from me. If you want me to buy that, you better give me the dress. Okay. Now we go sell our guns. Got a couple we can offload here and some magazines. We pooped out this AK. Oops. We pooped out this AK-47 magazine. We don't need it right now for anything at all. So we'll sell that 100% condition. It's basically just pooping out cash, really. Obviously. Uh, the grenade round, it would be kind of fun to have those available as a tool, but this server thing seemed to disappear so quickly. If you're, uh, it's not worth holding on to stuff unless you're going to use it right away, pretty much. Cash, 236, there's four grand right there. And what else? Does this guy buy anything else? Looks like no. Uh, let's buy from no, him. Military bag. Obviously. Hiking. Okay, these are all 1,800. Stay safe. We'll swing around to the general trader. Do I have any pills? Anything like that? I think I just sold pretty much everything that I'm going to sell. Except these binoculars from the general trader. Which is a nice, easy offload. Puts a bunch of cash in our pocket. We'll use that to uh, help these fellas here. Interesting. Have the hood open like that. Okay. Welcome, you, welcome. sir, will buy these, Free won't you? And he will buy these BCUs, but I'm not selling. I'm a collector. Let's see what you have. Alrighty. Let's take a look at what Monkey and Alpha are getting up to. Interesting. 
welcome, welcome. Okay, let's Feel buy a let's buy a backpack here. Thirteen hundred for this one. I should almost buy a foreign bag, but I can't bring myself to spend the money on it. Okay, we're gonna buy this. Take that in hand. And what, I've got. what else? He needs a shirt. Let's see, we'll find him something good, right? I don't I don't know what y'all are up to. You want clothes or something? Here, take this. Here, there it is on the ground. And let's see, you probably want clothing, right? You can buy it, sure. Oh, you want to just find clothing, I see. What do you mean, I'm always naked? When have you seen me wearing clothes? This is murder face. This is what you see when I kill you. <laughs> okay, well, let's see. At least I'm going to get you a suppressor. And another mag and a box of ammo for that gun. Dangerous man needs to stay dangerous. What's up? Get the suppressor here. A magazine. A HS SF-19 magazine and a box of ammo. There you go. There's those three things on the ground for you. And what else do we need here? $1,231. I'm going to go ahead and put that in my account. Start trying to build up funds, I suppose. It'll cost us $100 to do this. Um, you know, that said, though, maybe I could sell the beer... And the candy bob and buy like a biltong or something some kind of protein to have well, here's what I've got. oh he doesn't buy the candy bob huh 17 dollars for the beer right here let's see what he'll pay over here what do you pay for that 17 and 44 bet i can take a look if you have some sell that right into cash right there like that and I'll buy a biltong from you. Processed food, biltong. Buy one of those. And I don't know if I'm going to buy anything else. I could buy some cheese. That was actually really strong calories there. 600 bucks for these two together. Pretty good, though. Hit me up when you need a refill, sugar. Right. Looking good. I'm going to go try and top off my water bottle. And then we can start looking for some trouble, I think. Server's popping. 58 of 64. And it's still here. It looks like somebody's probably been using it, but we'll top off anyway. $692 I've got left. Well, that means I'm going to put about $600 into my account because I'm going to spend $100 just to get a card. Eo, what's up? Thank you, thank you. Smack that like button indeed. How you doing today? Welcome to the most secure place on Let's the buy island. ourselves a card. we got to choose a really secure pin. What would nobody guess? I think 9. Nobody would guess 9. There we go. Let's try it out, see if it works. Look at that. We're in, and we're going to deposit $692. Submit. Would you like to try another? No, that worked just fine. Thanks for joining us, EO. We are just getting a friend geared up here. We got a couple new buddies in game. One of them requested not to be broadcasted, so Discord's muted today. But I'll do my best to... Uh, sort of announce anything that's said that's relevant to the gameplay. And other than that, we're up to the normal shenanigans.
busy work day, but you're lurking? I love a good lurk. And you say you're lurking, but you always find a way to sneak into chat at the right moments anyway, so... I hope work goes well for you. I'll try and keep you entertained along the way. Alright, y'all two. What are... What's the game plan? What are we working on? Ah, okay. I see. Got an operation going here. Well, I was thinking I might go into the town to the west with Monkey and try and get him some clothing at least. Could bust open the police station, see if we could find some more guns or something. Free ammo. Free ammo is always good, yes. How's things going up there in the north, Yost? You still alive? All hand. <laughs> Dude, they've been going for hours like that. I was having trouble looking at my inventory. Yost has that authority in his voice. Y'all can't hear him, but he really does. Even in side chat, they acknowledge it. Look at that. Oh, Eo knows Yos. Escaping Ordinary says hello, Yos. Escaping Ordi Ordinary, Eo, she says hello. Yeah, she's in uh she's in the stream chat. Yep. Doing some strength building exercises here. Strength building exercises here. We need some more thread, is what we need. If we get some more thread, we can make some more sewing kits and build some quivers for ourselves. Looks like Alpha already has one. And Monkey needs one. I need one. Oh, I should sell this bedroll, shouldn't I? I already destroyed my card, though. I'm not going to. I'll hold on to it. It's nice being able to log out and, and recap some exhaustion in the meantime. Hmm. This is grindy. We're just giving Alpha time to get Monkey geared up. Yes, you have a gun. Uh, he just calls himself Alpha. I don't think it's Alpha Wolf. Just Alpha. He and Nico met very, very recently, so. Got a good little community form, and now the squad's coming together. Where are they going? That's southeast. I bet they're headed back over to the the city on the coast or railroad rail yard, maybe the torpedo. Thanks, Alpha. You know we appreciate all you do. Ah, uh, yes, yes. I actually leveled up my engineering skill recently too, so I might be able to repair bows moving forward. You want me to try that? Yeah, let's see if I can repair your bow for you. Look at that. Here it comes. Basic engineering is all you needed. Yes, sir. Thank you, Alpha. Have fun. We'll talk to you tomorrow. I am carrying the log in my backpack so that I can still sprint if I need to. Yeah. That's a hack. Let's get you not so orange. How about that? You definitely can. You keep the clothes from wearing out or getting dirty. If I stop moving, I am. That's why I'm always moving. It's incentive. Keep me building strength and con. Alright, 
I'm going to take the low side of the terrain here because we heard that Laka leave, but if I was them, I would drive up over the hill and then grab a rifle and watch. That would be my strat. We'll get him go, take it off, baby. Take it off. You don't need that. You should destroy that card, too. I'm going to take these clothes. If we need bandages later, they'll come in handy. They're probably not even dirty yet, right? Oh, 38.6. The filth goes up so fast in this game. If it didn't go up so fast, I would actually wash my clothes occasionally. But it seems like the minute you put them on, they get dirty. There's no point in wasting the soap. We're going to just rock and roll to this town on the coast, the west coast here. We'll work our way through that, looking for better clothes for Monkey, maybe some guns at the police station, maybe a new screwdriver to keep us picking. And we're building strength the whole way. You want to check this out? Might as well. Yeah, hopefully the Laka didn't come this way. It looked like they were probably headed over to the east. I don't think they were coming to this, to this spot. Oh, Alpha's saying, or Monkey is saying that they were doing some deals behind the trader. That the people in the Laka might have been more cautious about us than we are about them. I'm going to go ahead and take a breather here. This log is really wearing me out. But it's a good thing. I'm glad it is. We'll take a look at the metabolism screen. I want to get my strength up to 3.0 today. That's a big goal of mine. And... It'll roll over to 3.0 at 2.95 because this statistic gets rounded up. We got a little ways to go, but I think we can make it happen. Let's take a look at our inventory here. Take a look at... Oh. What was that? Oh my gosh, the lag is killing me. There we go. That was really strange. I thought I was going to hit him with all those shots, and then poof, lag happens, and he's in front of me. I've said this before, but I maintain another good reason to not wear clothes is they don't get destroyed when you get hit by a zombie. It saves you the pain of imminent clothing destruction. Of course, our temperature's dropping a little bit here, but... We'll be okay. Ready to move, good sir. Ooh, got a machete. Thank you, EO. Much appreciated. Could have gone worse, right? Could end up like these gloves right here, man. 31%. That's from carrying logs on my shoulder yesterday. Warm out quite a bit. We'll keep working, keep working. We've got not so far to go. It feels like a long time moving between places until you get used to it. Of course, the last playthrough we did where we had all the trucks and planes and everything kind of messed my sense of time up. So moving into this playthrough that's a whole lot less advanced, it's uh, changing the way I look at the game yet again. Yeah, it's tough sacrifice and strength. It's one of those skills that you build naturally through the gameplay, so it's an easy easy skill to sacrifice on character creation, but honestly, I think the best one to sacrifice is dexterity, because then you get all those fat reserves on your body, and it just means you need less calories early game. Yeah, your stamina is tough right now. But that's okay, it'll build up. It's just well, a matter of time. Anything for a glass of ice cold water. Oh, we didn't even get you any food or drink. If you need food or drink, I've got both on me. Don't be afraid to shout. Here, you can take this. Hold on to it. Box of cereal, keep them going for a while. There's a lot of calories in that. 
thing is food timing, right? You want to space it out. I like to keep my calories between like 40% and 80%. If you want, we could just jog. It'll take a little longer, but stamina will last that way. It's always worth taking a moment to appreciate the surroundings here. The work they put into this game, making it look beautiful, amazing, wonderful. You too, Alpha. Later. Yeah, Alpha popped in for just a little bit today. Basically, he popped in to help Monkey get geared up. Yeah, he's got obligations, but he said he'll be available tomorrow. Which I think we're all looking forward to. Check the road. Try and maintain some situational awareness here. It's easy to let go of these PvP senses when you're just traveling, but it pays to be on alert. What kind of weird code is this in chat? I'm always suspicious of the people whose names are just numbers. I don't... Is that your phone number? Should I try and call it? Kind of want to. Kind of want to. Yeah, they'll probably ask me about my car's extended warranty. Or offer me a deal to help save a prince. I'm done kissing frogs. I'm a toad man these days. <laughs> uh, I think I think those are the toads that have the, the special venom. All right, here we go. Now we're going to start finding some clothes for our friend. I don't get hung up on the tongue of this vehicle. I've got open doors straight away. Just be be cautious. There's a uh, yoga leggings here if you want those. They're green. Uh, there's, there's a couple items of clothing here in this first trailer. Let's see if we can get maybe a kitchen knife or something. Some duct tape. Red wool gloves. Wait, why is this open out? Did he close it behind him? Got a bottle of water. We'll definitely hand that off to Monkey. 25 bucks. 65 bucks. There's cash in this spot. Oh, you know I'm going through the rest of this. Little kitchen knife. I'm going to leave that behind. Really, since I have the machete, the only knife I'm going to be bothered with will be military grade knives. N9 bayonets, MK5000s. Um, what else? I guess any kind of bayonet. I'd, I would accept a cleaver, as a matter of fact, to even replace the machete if it were in better condition. That's kind of interesting, isn't it? Let me pop a screenshot of that. Use that as part of our information gathering exercise here. Pop that. I've got a, a text channel, a forum in my Discord dedicated to gathering information about people who we consider dangerous on the server. And the Chinese have been very aggressive, so we'll add this in. This is Z3 Coastal Town, Southern Portion. And paste. Oh, can I? There we go. That works. An error occurred. China number two. Refrigerator. Yeah, we're thinking tag is required. Oh, I see. There we go. That worked. We're thinking that we might end up 
in a bit of a, a conflict with these Chinese people because they seem to take over areas and dominate them. So I'm coordinating with another squad and we're looking for more people to join in the effort so that we might have an all-out server war at some point if we can get properly geared up. I think that would be really exciting. But it's a long-term plan. It's nothing we're jumping on straight away. It's just one step at a time kind of deal. Nothing in there. They've got the windows boarded up. But it's not locked. Just curious. I don't know if you need a flag to do that window boarding construction thing. I've never really tried to find out. Nope. 20 kilograms, nothing in it. And this one also is unlocked. I'm watching out for landmines right now. He's found a locked door with an open window next to it. That's great. Close these doors so we don't leave any sign of ourselves. I don't want to be tracked and traced the way that I track and trace. Keep an eye out on the ground for bottle mines, just in case. Looks like somebody might be calling this home, right? I thought I heard something maybe to the west. If it's buried, it's very, very hard to see. There's not much you can do about it. But any surface that's not dirt, if you see a water bottle wrapped in duct tape, that's a mine. Speaking of water bottles, I have one here for you that I found. But this place is pretty dry. It doesn't look like there's much loot. Somebody was here, I'm guessing, fairly recently. We're going to have to be careful as we move north. I'm concerned that we might encounter somebody. Try and close doors behind you too. So that they can't track the way we're moving through town. If they're behind us. Yeah, I don't know how much danger we're in right now. I, I, don't, I don't think we're in a whole lot of danger. I did think I heard footsteps at one point. But it's kind of... Hard to tell on occasion when you're traveling with other people. And sometimes there's an audio glitch that happens with um, with lag and all that. Where you'll, you'll think you hear footsteps, but they're actually your own. We've got 54 people online right now. Server cap at 64. Okay, here, you want this bottle? I'll take this knife. I think I might drop the log, too, since I'm feeling like there might be players around. I'd rather not burn stamina unnecessarily. Alright, I'm going to move north to the next section of town. I think this next section's fairly small, but there's a couple trailers up the hill there. Which, surprisingly, have fairly good loot, considering they're just RVs. There's cash on the table right here. How about that? There's no lock on it. And it's got headlights and taillights. Ooh, baby. I'll take that. You know I like me some taillights. These are a big source of cash, especially the Rager stuff. Okay, we're going to 
organize a little. Depends on what it is. If it has enough value, yes. Yep. That's 21%. Um, I would bring it. I would bring it. If you need to drop it at some point to make room, that wouldn't hurt, but... Look at this. Somebody was coming through looking for screwdrivers. We're going to have to definitely watch as we go, go more north. They'll probably be headed to the police station. There's a part of me that almost wants to go right on up there and head them off. Drop that. I think I prefer this mask. It's a little more creepy. There's a cleaver, and it's in better condition than the machete. Machete's got a little bit more reach, but the cleaver... What the heck was that? Did I just see something? Did you see something? Oh, sea salt. I Well, I just thought I saw something. Could be wrong. And the American can't. Sea salt. Yos is hyperthermic and C3 exhausted. That's tough, man. I don't think I've ever had C3 exhaustion. The pasta cookbook sells for about $50 if it's in 100% condition. I think an EMP in perfect condition sells around 300. We're going to go through and just search beds more or less. Not too worried about much else. The generators are worth surprisingly little cash. Alright, a little bit of soap. Yeah, there's 54 online right now, so it's still pretty close to full. Screwdrivers are great, man. That's how you get all the best. All the good stuff. Locked up. Nice. He just found an advanced lockpick with 5 out of 6. That's really good. Now, Yo said he's made it almost to A1. bunch of gunfire you said your cr mm, interesting maybe the fish factory could be dealing with a horde yep here this is a little better than that black shirt if you want it it's at least green okay Still got 18 uses on this yellow screwdriver, so we're doing all right with that. Doesn't mean I'd, I'm not interested in more, obviously. I'd carry five screwdrivers on me. Love those things. Oh, yeah. There, I'm sorry, there's what, Yos? Oh, animal training. I haven't seen that. 
Uh, it's a feature they're going to add, huh? That's kind of cool. I wonder if you'll be able to ride horses at some point. What is going on right now? I'm getting crazy lag. I think there's probably players pretty close to us. High ping players, because I usually only see this kind of lag when I'm around people who are pingy. Yeah. Okay, that's weird. I just... There's two zombies right here. Did you open this door down here, monkey? Yeah, you must have. You're inside. Okay. I'm doing okay. Are you okay? Oh, come on. Oh, man. That's terrible. Yeah, it's probably not going to be the last time that happens either. Looks like I gave him a C3. I was afraid I might have hit him there. Give me my arrow back. Yeah, exactly. Oh, boy. I feel terrible. Let's get him cleaned right up then, huh? I'm going to find out right now. Boom. There. Between the two of us, we'll definitely get you cured up. And then we'll have to take it easy for a minute until that goes into recovery. I can't believe I did that. Yeah, I kind of had a feeling I might have done that. Certainly wasn't on purpose, but... You don't like the machete, huh? I like it. Yeah, we're debating the melee weapons right now. The machete does a lot of damage, but you've got to be really close on top of your opponent, whether they be a zombie or a player. So there's a trade-off in that. The trick with the machete that I've found is to click a whole bunch. Like, once you get within range, you want to keep clicking because you stagger the opponent, and then you can kill them without them attacking you. Yeah, yep. If you've got melee skill or high stamina, you can do combos. Yeah. It's a fairly effective weapon. No, 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 no. Yos is saying that he... Uh, maximum brawling on this character and it's giving him really cool melee moves open-handed melee moves which is it's interesting I've never leveled my brawling and I never bothered taking high brawling from the start what's that Yeah, that's that's how it appears when it's not on your shoulder or in your bag. Yeah.
Yeah, we're definitely getting more puppets as we move more north. I think we might be catching up with this player. Might be more than one, too, judging by the amount of spawns we're getting. And the server pop. Definitely going to have to be careful as we continue up north here. I got, I got a feeling we're going to encounter somebody. Just as long as they don't best us. That'll be fine by me. There we go. That's a headshot. Fall back. Just keep running. Doing okay, monkey. Yeah, I've got a couple of injuries here, but nothing serious. Just stuff that's going to need time, that's all. Interesting. I definitely feel like there's players up ahead, and if there are, they now know we are here. I'm going to fall back and help monkey. Sounds like he might still be struggling. Need to drink some water too, but one thing at a time here. No, 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 not yet. Oh, shoot. What killed you? Yep. Okay, so Monkey died because he had that C3 that I gave him. And I need to find his backpack. Did you die in the town or in the woods? Try and get your gear. Okay. We'll find his stuff. I saw his name. Okay, he's saying he was closer to the water. He's running right back. I didn't realize how low he was on funds, so we'll definitely get him cashed up a little bit here. I thought he was in this spot. Judging by where his name was on the screen. There's some bodies down there. Yeah, that looks like a player, right? Oh, that's going to hurt. Okay. Here he is. Yeah, I see you. You're down here on the beach. I'm just standing over your body trying to make sure nobody comes and messes with it. This is our job right now. Tector. Maintain operational security. Yes, sir. No rush. We'll get you some more cash, too. I didn't realize you were that low on funds. He's saying the last time we played, we died a whole bunch, and it cost him a lot. So, Yeah, and I, I definitely owe you the money for this one, because you wouldn't have died if it weren't for my hatchet going into your back. We'll get you some money. Ain't a problem. Ah, you don't owe me nothing. We'll make more than that together. Uh, there was a different server Yos was on. He sent me a screenshot in my Discord. You're all set? Okay. We'll keep moving. 
Uh, probably not. Looks like I can. But, we'll just leave it. Okay. You know, I've tried to melee kill the animals and you can't do it. They don't take melee damage. Or if they do, they just have a really small hitbox that I can't manage to actually hit. I bet the rabbit phase through the environment. They do that from time to time. Same with the puppets. Okay, we're going to keep moving through town here. My health is pretty low. So if we have another horde, I'll probably start shooting. Yeah, we're going to keep our eyes open. You got your pistol hot barred, right? There's another bottle There's another bottle of water on the ground for you there. And we'll top off up the uh up the coast. There's a a spring that's always good. Yeah, this is going to go well. I think once we in oh. That's really good. Yeah, we could take those. We'll cut up a, a couple of puppets, make some bone needles. So you're going to need a sewing kit, right? Okay, maybe we just turn back. I think there were puppets right down here. Yeah, there's one right here we can take. Yep, that's the one right there. Let's see if we get a screwdriver off him before we chop him up, right? No screwdriver, but a couple of matches if anybody needs them. Now, I didn't even think about the fact you don't have a bow yet. We'll take the time here to do that too. Crafting up a couple of bone needles. And then I can help him make a bit of rope from these branches here. Take this in hand. We try and use the kitchen knife for crafting because I don't want to waste my cleaver or my machete's um, durability on making bone needles and cutting up puppets. No need for that. Those are meant to be melee weapons, not crafting tools. You want me to make the rope? Okay. We'll have that rope in a second. There's bone needles right here if you want to start crafting those sewing kits. Alright. See, I need to make rope. There it is. There's rope in the craft the menu. We'll get this man a 35 pound bow and some arrows. That way he can be a little bit more dangerous against the puppets because it's way better to pick them off from a distance than to bother with trying to, uh, trying to get them in melee, especially if there's more than one. Put some distance between you and them. There we go. Take that in hand. 35 pound bow. Where it is. Right there. 35 pound bow coming right up. And then we'll start working on arrows next. Here we go. Let's see if this works. 78.9, 78.1. Now, see, it's going to default to the cleaver. That's all that. There's no way around that. Whichever weapon is on your back. Take in hand. That's the only problem with auto crafting. You can't control which tool it uses the durability from, which is probably not proper English, but I, I got my point across. Making up some arrows. So it'll take the first use off this kitchen knife. Then the next one's going to come off the cleaver. But maybe if I select this like, like so. No, it's still using the cleaver. All 
All right, there's some arrows for you. What was that? Pumpkin? Oh, gosh, I don't know. Maybe you could eat it. Pumpkin, yeah. Kind of gross. It might have, uh, might have decent vitamins and minerals, maybe, but I doubt it's gonna have great macros. It'd be mostly fiber and water. Okay, so you got a couple of sewing kits, right? And a bow. Do you need more arrows? Uh, we could try and at least finish off that other stack, right? Cut this into small sticks, make up all the arrows we can. If we come up with enough arrows, I might get a couple as well for my secondary stack. It's nice having one stack, it's twice as nice having two. Get him. Get him, monkey. Put that bow to work, baby. Put an arrow right in him. You got this. Nice. Yep, looks like he did. Trying to maintain environmental awareness as always, but I don't know. I keep thinking I'm hearing things. It's because I've got my, my senses a little too high alert right now. So I'm not really thinking clearly. Okay, we've got a, a whole stack here for you. Okay, I'll take whatever's left over. Right. Push north. Try not to sprint too much. I think my health is probably good by now, right? Just a single C1 injury. That's almost... Almost... I gotta switch that. I hate it when my bow and my cleaver get mixed up. Sounds like that zombie, it sounds like that zombie might be stuck in the environment. Sometimes they are underground and then they pop out at you. Surprise! That's never a good thing. This spot right here, man, seems like every time I go through this area, I find a horde. Yep, it's not the first time that's happened to me. See what we can do here. See if we can find some trouble. I really do think there was a player pretty close here. And either we scared them off or they don't really give a care that we're on their tail. It's going to be one of the two. side of the head man that's gotta hurt yeah as we as we keep moving forward getting to the next section of town and the next section of town I'm going to try and become increasingly cautious I'm not seeing open doors right here but that doesn't mean much seem like they were focusing oh here we go 20 out of 20 block 21 mag very nice I know some people who could put those to work. Take these. 
and drop those. I want full boxes of bobby pins whenever I can get them. That way I have 20 at hand at all times. Keep moving here. I'm going to hit the military stuff right down the hill. Search this guy. See what he's got on him. Maybe some really crappy ammo, right? Not even. I don't know why I bother with you. Okay. Nothing in those. This is one of those spots. Anybody who knows this town is going to come here on their way through. So if we don't find much, it's a good indication someone was here in the last 20 or 30 minutes, probably. Uh, that's decent ammo. It's just not a lot of it. I'm going to leave it behind. Okay, night vision. Nobody's leaving that behind. Got some thread here, a compass. There's a compass on the ground here if you want it. Might have to triple carry to bring that along. Probably worth it, though. Let's see if I can make some space. Did you grab that compass? Yeah, there's a compass on the ground here if you want it. I think we can fit the metal detector. Yeah, we made room. Okay. I wonder how long Yost is going to be gone for, because I'll bring you back in. To the stream audio. There we go. Uh, it's getting kind of late for him, so he may be done for the night. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm. I've got you back on stream, if that's okay with you. That's cool. Hold on a sec. I heard footsteps that almost sounded too fast to be a zombie. Can't tell. Okay, no, it's it's just puppets. I don't know why they... Oh, it's because there's two of them in, in rhythm with each other. It's not a player. Okay. I still feel like this is too many puppets for this area, though. Yeah, because there's another one even up there. Yeah. Every once in a while, a beeper can spawn here, which is pretty terrifying when it happens. just disappeared. Your arrows are gone. They just disappeared out of that zombie right there. Oh, that's weird. There's a chicken. Did you search it? Sometimes you gotta search it to make them reappear. No, the, the body just disappeared. Oh, huh. The body's completely gone. Yeah, server's definitely struggling a little today, huh? Found some corn. Oh, I like me some corn. Oh, that is definitely not what I thought you said. Yeah, I, I figured as much. <laughs> Who doesn't like a little corn? Yeah, corn. Corn. With a C. With a C. The food. The yellow grain. You can pop it. You can roast it, you can bowl it, you can grill it, if you're real adventurous. I think 
this is the spot with the four garages. Yeah, go through these real quick. Oh, the police station's up there, isn't it? Yeah, we're getting close. Another I couple sections. Some, I swear I heard something up there. Okay. okay could have been you, but... I'm going to start crouching. What do you think you heard? Like doors or footsteps? Shush, shush, shush. Like the making something or searching that squ that sh 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 sh. Yep. Okay, I'm crouching. I'm not looting. Did you say uh, about 3.30 on the compass? I hear some uh, zombie walking at 3.30. Okay. Maybe that's what I heard. Well, we'll take the quiet approach for right now and just make sure, because I've had a lot of PvP on these two islands the last couple of days, so if somebody's going to have the advantage here, I'd rather it us than them. See, I thought I heard it coming from this building over here. School, yeah? Okay. I'm going to see if this door is locked right here. Oh, no. Hey, I... What's up, Based, man? I had my thing on top chat instead of live chat. That's my bad. How you doing, man? Thanks for joining us. I hope you're well. Okay, this door is unlocked. You're not hearing any more from the school? Yeah, I don't think YouTube likes your name there, based, because every time I've got it on top chat instead of live chat, it hides your messages. I think it considers you a troll, which it might be an accurate description, but still glad to have you. I don't mind a troll. I don't see any open doors at the school. Plenty of windows to jump through, though. Okay. That wind just got loud. Yeah, it did. You want to hide in a porta potty? I just said no. I wish you could. Go in. I know. Have you ever heard of the game uh, Hunt Showdown? I have heard of it. I haven't seen any gameplay, I don't think. Oh, that's a fun one, too. Yeah. But it's um, it's got its difficulties, because as you can see, I'm a uh, spraying prey. Yes. Uh, that doesn't work in that game, because it's all, like, one-shotters. Oh, wow. Like you got your rifles and all that kind of stuff, and that's it. I like... Uh... Like you, I'm spray and pray, but if everybody's one-shotters, I'm okay with one-shotters. It's just that spray and pray has the advantage when it's available. Yeah. Depending on the distance of the engagement, anyway. Yeah, it's a lot of sniper rifling kind of thing. That's cool, and it's PvP? It's, it's PvP, PvE. They've got zombies and stuff, too. It's like uh, down in the Louisiana Bayou. Mm. You go in and you try to um, find. So you can get into a map that has one player or, or one boss or two bosses. And the goal is to go search um, for clues to find that boss. 
and then once you find the boss, you try killing the boss, but you also have like eight other players on at the same time trying to do the same thing so that you are battling against them also. Oh, that's cool. And then you, it takes time, like you have to actually, um, uh, oh, what do they call it? It's when you, uh, you, you actually click on the boss after you kill it and it takes uh, like about five minutes, if not longer to, um, let it sit here. Like you're, oh man, cause you're, it's possession or like you're trying to rate it back to hell. Oh, so it's like an and, exorcism or, or oh, something. Did you put that down? What's that? Why would we see that? Oh, the there's yeah, that's blueprint. that's mine because there's a dirt bike right there. Okay. So we put the dirt bike there or the blueprint to market. We're gonna try and come back with wheels when we find them. Um, but yeah, it's it's difficult, but it's fun. It's it's another fun game. It's the one I was playing right before I got into Skun. Oh, that's Skun cool. Skun's a lot more action. What? Oh, other side of the... I see. Let's see if we can get this one. Nope. Yeah, so far I'm not hearing any players, not seeing any more open doors. I don't want to abandon caution, but I think we can... Pick the pace up a little bit, safely. See if we can find this fountain, top off our water bottles. Yeah, this is intense. I love this part of the game. The stalk, the ambush, the potential of PvP. So much fun. It's like a castle kind of thing. Yeah, it's some ruins. I never really thought to look at it um, and question what it would have been. I think you're right. A, a big castle or a mansion. Judging by the stonework, probably a castle. Yeah, I'm going to see if I can find the fountain over here. All closed doors. Maybe somebody found the screwdriver they were looking for and then just went straight to the police station. Or they wised up and started closing the doors, too. That's a possibility. Yeah. I'm going to try and maintain my health as I'm going along here. It's kind of easy to lose sight of these things when you get wrapped up in other situations, but we're doing okay. Feeling a little bit of hunger. We'll alleviate that with biltong and cheese, protein and fat. And it's nice that we found the corn, because that sort of rounds it off a little bit. And it might help us fend off some exhaustion, which grows so quickly right now. And I'm sure a big part of the reason the exhaustion grows so quickly is due to my lack of food intake. I'm intentionally losing weight, of course, to bring my dexterity up. And that means I don't get the um, exhaustion bonus from consumption under most circumstances. This is just not there. And I think probably that bonus from a, from consumption can mitigate a lot of the exhaustion gain if you have a slow and somewhat steady income of calories. But running at a deficit, I just I grow my exhaustion rapidly. There's no way around it. And it's okay for now. Exhaustion's not that bad. At least C1 exhaustion is meaningless, and C2 is mildly annoying. Uh, it's a minor setback. I haven't yet made it to C3, but I know C4 conditions tend to be, what would you say, um, imminently fatal. So my avoidance of getting to C4 is going to be imperative. 
I'm not afraid to hit c3 if the situation dictates it, but at some point you're going to have to take precautions. It gets too serious. Separating a bit from monkey here, but that's kind of intentional. I think as we get closer to the danger zone. See this bottle right here? I highly doubt that's natural loot. Someone dropped a backpack on the, or leather backpack on the ground over here in the church. Yep, I've got a soda bottle on the roof of this little garage here. I thought I heard footsteps would be to your west. Maybe out here in the street. I hear, I think, a zombie. I heard, like, jogging pace. Definitely couldn't have been a puppet. But it might have been you, I don't know. Might have been. Because I'm, I'm... I'm east of you. Yeah. We're definitely getting closer to whoever this is. Silly. I'm going to leave this here. I don't need it, and they might be using that to uh, check and see if people are following them. Trying to keep my ears open. It's a little hard to hear when I'm talking, but obviously I don't want to have too much radio silence here during the stream. We're just doing our best to track this person. It seems like Monkey's too far away for me to have heard him. But the fact that this other player has gone quiet means they might have heard me rustling around, jumping and all that. I'm, I'm fairly convinced they're here at this point. Really don't think we're alone. Between finding a backpack and a soda bottle, those footsteps I'm going to take as a real genuine warning of somebody's presence. Let's go first person. Let's pull out the gun. I like my melee kills, but in a situation like this, not knowing where the person might pop up, I can switch to the machete or the cleaver if the opportunity presents itself. Okay. That's filled up. Now we got topped off on our water, which is good. We're doing okay on energy and water reserves at the moment. Those things don't need to be at 100. Thing is, I thought I heard the person running east and south, but we'll see. Monkey has gone rogue. You're convinced of that, aren't you? I think Monkey's okay. You want me to shoot him in the head just to find out? I think you missed it earlier. I uh, hit him in the back with my cleaver and ended up killing him. We got swarmed by a horde and his health was already low. Wound wasn't completely healed. And they must have opened up the bandages because it ended up being the death of him. Okay, I'm west of the police station right now. I'm at the grocery store. Okay. I'm going to circle in on it. The person that I thought I heard running sounded like they were running in the opposite direction of our travel. It was so brief, though. I, I don't know. There's a broken down ranger over here that's locked up. Pretty bad condition, too, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's been there for a few days. I don't know if somebody's planning on doing something with it or, or why they locked it. It doesn't have an engine either, right? Um, it doesn't look like it. Everything's open over here. Yeah. All these garages, the vehicle workshop, open. You must be coming up on me here. Yeah. 
this is a pretty normal place to encounter somebody. If you're going to encounter them, the police station's one of these hot loot spots that people might fight for. Is the stream acting up? Looks like a slideshow right now. Everything's okay on my broadcasting software, well, but thing through the windows. looks like uh, YouTube's really complaining over here. Not receiving enough enough video. Viewers might experience buffering. Oh, I hope that smooths out here in a second. I'm going to hold still. The downstairs door is open. Yep. That leads into that one room. See that? Want to search a locker and see if it's locked still? No, it's not. Okay. They were here. Pick lock, pick lock, pick lock. Oh, okay. Alright, I'm going to rush upstairs, I guess. Try and use the element of surprise if I have it. I don't see anyone up here. I'm gonna check the roof. We were watching a Korean stream and they had the same issue, huh? What's going on? Maybe it's YouTube then, because my stream software is showing smooth sailing right now. Here's another uh, compass. Compasses are nice. They sell for a decent price, really. Shirt. I've got really crappy 12 gauge ammo on the roof here. Not even going to pick it up. I'm going to pick these two and find out if there's any loot in here. Definitely seems like whoever came through here was going through garages. That means they were either looking for car parts or screwdrivers or both. Be interesting to find out if they got into these lockers at all or not. You want me to pick these two down here? Yeah, sure. I found a stab proof vest and a block 21. Block 21, which I have magazine for. Hopefully we can find ammo. Four. And a shotgun. Okay. We'll do the other lockers it's then, saw, too. It's the M1887. Yeah. You could sell it anyway, right? What's going on? I'm sorry, guys. I don't know... What's going wrong with YouTube right now? Everything's absolutely fine on my end. Uh, I'm going to start recording what we're doing here. And worst case scenario, I can post a separate video to keep the series as complete as possible. Alright, I'm going to go hit these other five lockers. Or four, I guess, in this police station. One, two, three, four. Oh, that's cool. Tactical vest. It's always nice. Oh, here's a magazine for your gun. Here, magazine on the ground for you. There we go. And 12 gauge ammo. 
don't know if you want that. I mean, technically, I've got a shotgun. Yeah. Might as well load it up and hot bar it. At least until we decide to sell it or keep it. Whatever you want to do with it. That came in handy last night. I, I did the police station in the Z2 city on the coast. Found a shotgun in there. Some ammo. And ended up killing a player with it. Oh, dude, the mask. I love it. Oh, it's aggressive. Oh, the lever action, dude. That's a good shotgun. Cheater reports must be made in scum. Official. I spelled that wrong. Discord. Alright, I say we go back to the trader. I think we've risked enough here today. Yep. And actually came out pretty good. We've got the four Rager lights, and everything we get from this trip out is going to be yours. So I've got plenty of cash right now. I want to get you settled. Mm. Yeah, this is just an absolute slideshow right now, isn't it? I don't know what to do about that. My transmission's going fine. I've got full signal. My Wi-Fi is stable. My connection to the server here is fine. It has to be something with YouTube. Uh, I'm, I'm really sorry, people, but uh, I am recording it. And hopefully I'll be able to turn it into a, like a live stream upload. I'll put it into the playlist if anybody's watching right now. Just let me know in the chat. Is it actually a slideshow? Are you having a bunch of buffering? good. So metabolism's doing all right. Um, I'm going to need to urinate when we get to the trader, but I'll wait until we have cover to do that. Not cover, I mean, uh, so we're in the, the radius of protection. If you want to try out a bot server, it'll be fun to mess around with. Uh, what's that? Is that the, the type of server where you can request things through Discord? You get like supply drops? Is that what you're talking about? Uh, to be honest, right now, I think we're going to stick with this server. We're getting a lot of action here, and we're putting together potentially a coordinated effort with another squad, at least one other squad. So I think we're going to continue to progress here to the extent that we can. It's funny seeing the Chinese guys talking about cheaters. That's unexpected. It's not fair to lump them all into one group, though. It's the cheaters that stand out, so you start to associate yeah. the Chinese language with the people who hack, but I'm sure there's plenty of them who don't like that and don't like that it gives them that reputation either. Look at these coastal views. You could forget it's a zombie survival game. Yeah, it is stuttering. It seems like it. I, I really don't know if there's anything I could do except I could try restarting the stream, maybe. Normally this doesn't last more than a couple of seconds if it happens at all. Uh, but it seems to be going on right now. Just continuous. Is it bad enough that I should end the stream and try to restart it, do you think? No, my OBS output's absolutely fine. I'm not dropping any frames right now. Uh, I'm putting out my normal amount of kilobytes. 60 frames per second. CPU's doing all right. I'm even recording at the same time right now. And it doesn't seem to have affected OBS. No, 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 no. This is a Windows. I don't, I don't do Mac. Mac's for chumps. Who games on a Mac? Are you kidding me? Putting O 
overload. Consider... Oh, I see something might... I might be able to... Maybe that'll help. It is. It's starting to struggle in OBS now, too. This is weird, yeah. Like Dell. No, this is a PC that I custom ordered. I had it pieced together from components. Um, CyberPower PC was the website I used, but it's it's a conglomeration of different things that I chose for myself. Water cooled CPU, uh, i7 uh, processor. It's got a 3070 Ti, eight gigabyte ray tracing card in it. M2 stick for the operating system and the games. It's pretty beastly. It does what I needed to do anyway. It's not great for video editing though. All right, so I made some changes in in OBS. Let's see if that stabilizes it at all. YouTube's still showing me the error, but you bought a CyberPower in 2000. No kidding. I didn't realize they went back that far. I got this one 2021. It's still fairly new. Don't tell me you game on a Mac, do you? Much better. Okay. Yeah, I guess it was uh it was an issue on my end. I'll have to pay more attention to OBS in the future, but it really what it comes down to is my or internet. It's not not really streaming grade internet, and I'm, I think I'm going to look into um, correcting that issue in the future here. I definitely will if I can get to 100 and, or to 500 subscribers, and get the channel monetized. I'll start spending some money on upgrading things like the microphone and the internet. But until I can at least potentially have a revenue stream from the from my content creation. I can't really justify spending money on it. They were just getting started back then. You have a gaming laptop. Oh, okay. Did you did you share a picture of your gaming laptop? I, I saw one in the in the Discord um, last weekend, but my memory for names and stuff is just <laughs> could be better. We'll put it that way. Yeah, I want to get the quality, the video quality of these streams up, but, yeah, Sellout. How is that a sellout? I can't work for free, man. You didn't share, okay. Yeah, I think that was actually Monkey, maybe, who shared. Yeah, you can call me a sellout all you want, but if I can generate revenue by streaming, that just means I can do more content creation. Is it shit? Wow. Strong language here. Talking trash on a friend. Hmm. This could turn into a fist fight. I've got my eye on you. Look at all those grapes. Delicious. Yeah, YouTube's still giving me the warning. It doesn't look like the video is stuttering anymore, but is it very, very low quality right now? I might look into upgrading this internet sooner. The thing is, if I change the internet plan, I'm probably going to have to take a part-time job or something, which will cut into my streaming time. And I was, I was hoping to hit 500 subs before I took a job so that I could really focus on content creation up until that point. Supercharge it, make it happen quicker, but we're, uh, I don't know. At some point, compromises have to be made, and that's okay. I kind of miss working, too. As fun as it is, streaming all the time and playing the video game all day, it feels good doing a, a you know, regular job, getting a stable paycheck. There we go. We're in the outpost now. Check the, uh, screenshots here let me know when that when you post that I'll take a look at it straight away it's better now okay 
Yeah, that was interesting. First time I've seen that problem. I wonder what's different today than yesterday, right? Curious. I'll do some research after the stream. New bland? Oh, interesting. We did it. We made it. We made it. I'm gonna go sell uh I'm gonna sell these rager lights and I guess the metal detector. I don't really feel like carrying that around well, everywhere. Um, well. Here's what I've got. This lady hangs out at the trader cutting stuff into rags. Is this JLK? Um I'm gonna sell him this and these. Put that on. Sell this pizza cookbook for 81. That's more than I thought it was worth. Quite a bit more. Uh, let's see. What else do we have here that we could sell? That's the presser's on our two bucks. Pretty good, huh? Even in that condition? Yeah. That's surprising. Two, 277 for the metal detector at 33%. That's not bad at all. Yeah, pleasantly surprised, I would say. You don't need 44 rounds, do you? No, sir. Those are revolver only, and the revolvers a... are tough. <laughs> Very tough to use. M16A4 folding sight? Nope, definitely sell those. No loyalty. Prices are not negotiable. Is this tactical vest? Do you want a tactical you want vest? It's not the armor that, kind. It's just the one with like the the four this. pockets. No. Okay. I doubt it's going to be worth too much, considering it's. I think you buy them for less than two hundred dollars, so maybe we'll get twenty bucks for it or something. But it all adds up. I'm happy to get twenty. Twenty six dollars. There we go. Obviously. Sell this block C D player, we don't need that. Um I might keep the block twenty one magazine. We got a couple of squad mates They're carrying that gun. <laughs> Nobody cares. And that's pretty much it done and dusted right there. Everything else is keep I'm putting cash on the ground for you, okay? There you go. Diggity. Yes, sir. Money, money, money. Money, money, money. I'm trying to get shot. I no, will shoot I'm you. Load it. What do you mean? Security reasons. I trying to get shot. Obviously. You're trying to get shot. Shut up. No, I want I want arrows from you, sir. There. How about that? That ain't gonna work. I need a card, don't I? Let me go get a card. Goodbye. 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 A vaguely European accent on him sometimes. Welcome to the most secure place on the island. All right, we need a really secure pin code this time. I think I've used up some of the lesser ones, but we're going to pick the best one right now. That's two. Nobody ever guesses two. Unless they're watching your stream, I guess. <laughs> That's part of the joke, really. Every time I make a one-digit pin code, I say, let's pick a very secure pin code, but it's What's one up? digit. It's impossible for it to be place, secure. I guarantee you, I'm well armed. All right, a couple of carbon arrows here. Do you want carbon arrows? That'd be amazing. Yeah, I'll get you some carbons here. Other than that, I think I have everything I need right now. Actually tempted to sell this night vision. Nice to have for the stream, but what what would I get for it if I sold Guns it? Come unloaded. Security reason that thing registered. Oh my goodness! Yeah, I have to sell that. That yeah. pays for the carbon Nobody arrows. Nobody cares. There we go. That's that.
Our proteins are still pretty high. We still have cheese. Oh, that's a good point. I could sell those things. Oh, the stab-proof vest. Do you want that? No. Okay, good. I'm gonna sell it then. This. The Willy Warmer is even worth 14 bucks. That ain't bad. See what you have. There you go. Some carboneros for you. Almost sounds like a Spanish word, doesn't it? Carbonero. Especially when you say it like that. I could say carbon arrows. Carbon arrow. Sounds like a single word. Guns come unloaded. Uh huh. Guns do come unloaded. Makes sense. You tell me that every time I come in here. I think by now I might know, right? Nobody cares. Okay, take that off. What am I carrying in my vest? Just some olives. Boom. There she go. Can I lay that down as a matter of fact? How about it? How about it? Okay. I have what I need. I have more than what I need, as a matter of fact. I'm going to destroy this. Dang, that's a lot of money for a headlight. Goodbye. Yeah, right? That's where most of that money came from that I handed you. 660 bucks each? Come on. Nobody's complaining about that. Some junkyard parts? All right, I'm gonna take a quick bio break. I'll be right back. Okay, what should we do next? Suppose this guy wants like 170 fame points to buy dirt bike wheels, but we could run to the dirt bike track and probably find both wheels. I bet we could do that. How much is it for military? Uh, quiver. 10,000? Ooh, never mind. Yeah. Yep. But we'll stop at the gas station on our way to the dirt bike track. And sometimes you find them there. Sometimes you find two of them. I think once I found three. All right. Yeah, yeah. Do you need a sewing kit? Uh, let's see. Not at the moment. I've got eight out of fifteen uses left on mine, and nothing that I needs repairs. Shoes before they go broken. Yes, you should. You could do like Pawn did, shoot me in the head and take my boots. I don't know about doing that. Yeah, he didn't mean to. He went to kill a puppet with an arrow, and I stepped right in front of it to melee the puppet. It was a freak accident. One heck of a shot, too. Oh, did you get more food while we were in town? No, I had a quite a. Well, I guess I don't have quite a bit, but. You're okay for now? Uh, not much do I know of this. Mm -hmm. uh, no, I should probably go get some more of these. Yeah. I was talking to this real cool guy the other day. He said up and go cereal is the way. It's cheaper, tons of calories. You should listen to him, he's got good advice. That was monkey. He doesn't want to acknowledge my tomfoolery. I guess I can't blame him. It's a pretty bad joke. Welcome, welcome. 
Feel free to browse around. Now we're looking at thread right now. I've got 8 out of 15, so if I find any amount of thread or nylon line, I'll be all set. Really good shape. Now. Processed food. I'm going to buy myself a box of up and go. No, I'm not. I don't have a card. Never mind. I'll survive. I'm trying to lose weight still anyway, eh? Look at us, 19% fat. We're losing it quickly. We're doing really good, actually. Uh, the C2 exhaustion is my biggest concern at the moment. Do you still have uh, a card on you? Yes. Would you buy me an energy drink? Yes. That'll help a lot. I'll put some olives into my metabolism. I'm. What does that do for you? It's gonna help stave off the exhaustion because I'm into C2 already. Oh. So I'll drink it. I'll drink like two drink one, then two. straight away, two sips of it, and then as we go, I'll I'll pace out the last three. And I'll hope we find more at the dirt bike track. There's often good food stuff there. one of those spots that I didn't realize when I first started playing how valuable it really was. It's like the best, man. Dirt bike track is great. Oh, bad. Did you grab one for me by chance? I Oh, I forgot to take him out. I, I thought I set it down. Still in the depot. Ah, thank you, sir. <laughs> thank you. I was wondering why he hadn't taken it yet. What's he doing? He's not taking that drink I left him in the depot. Safe, yeah. <laughs> Boom. There we go. That helps quite a bit. Okay. That helps with stamina recovery, too. If you're, if you're looking to go yeah. on a long run or whatever, you buy a couple of those. Go real lightweight. I've done that in the past. And the way the game works, stamina recovery happens while you're moving. So your higher stamina recovery rate means less stamina burn as you exercise. Some crazy mechanics. The detail in this screen here is just otherworldly. You can see it right now. Boost of energy plus max stamina. And then oh, yeah. performance score. You get that 25% boost to your performance score. Hopefully we find some good stuff here. I could use a nice bow, like a 60-pounder or a compound. Again, that's a great, great thing to find at the dirt bike track. So common there. What is this? Did I put that there? I don't know why I definitely didn't. Okay, that's weird. Or why I would have done that. You didn't put a chest in there or anything? No, not that I remember. Whoops. I hope it wasn't a squad mate. Because now it's gone. But I think you can only destroy your own blueprints. Pretty sure. So. I guess I never walked up to one and try to destroy it. Well, we could find out here. I'm going to place one down. Let's see if you can get rid of it. Nope. Yep. Good to know. Oh, that's a nice setup based. I like that. Cool looking keyboard, too. And that's the cooling pad underneath the laptop there. Looking good, man. Looking real good. Clean. Yeah, later on today, so I was talking to Yos, um, we're pro I'm going to be tra uh, getting onto my server with uh, Nico. Yes. And trying to train my son how to play. Oh, cool. Because I don't know if you, I doubt you're going to want me to be playing with him on here. Yeah. With you. Yep. So I was going to get on my easy server and try to train him, and I'm thinking about 
possibly buying the game again if he gets uh, actually gets decent into it. That's cool. So you could do a father son playthrough. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome, man. And he's only nine years old, so I can't expect much. But eh, just as long as he enjoys it, that's all that matters. Yep. Especially in the my Fallout games, the admin server, you can just give him vehicles and guns and let him go wild. Yeah. Yep, that's that's a really good idea. I always tried to get my parents to play video games with me when I was growing up, but they didn't really understand it. Mine either. Can't blame them. They barely knew what a computer was. They do that talk to text thing exclusively. Never see my father typing on a phone. He always talks to it. Okay. We're I know in one of your um, streams you were talking about uh, not even getting a compound bow. Did you ever figure out if it was uh, worth the weight to have a compound on versus the crafted the thirty-five pound? Um, you know, I never checked directly, but I can tell you right now the thirty-five pound bow is two kilograms, and I think the compound bow is two point five. Two point five. I thought you said it was something even higher than that, but it might be. I, I can't remember exactly. I, I think <clears throat> we'll definitely check. There could be one right up there. Good indeed. And there's a scout knife and a pair of wool gloves. I got a scout knife. Cool. Me too. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm coughing so much. Ah, that's alright. I'm barely even hearing it. Good. Getting over a change of seasons kind of thing? Hay fever or something? Nope. Well, I yeah, I have sinus problems anyways, but uh, I went to help clean up a store with um, other managers with my company, and uh, every single one of them had something. Oh, no. And I'm pretty sure I just caught whatever it is. That oh, had. dude, that sucks. That's how it goes, though, right? Yeah. So they were all hacking up along, and now I'm getting, getting there. I hope you don't get it too badly. Uh, relaxing playing scum, it'll help. That's true. Scum is for your health. That's a quote, folks. I got a couple of flares here. Everything's kind of pretty dry, though. I'm going to check across the way, see if we get any food stuff. Coffee, maybe. Got a puppet inside here. You got one coming at you? Yep. Oh, that broadhead arrow is nice. Why didn't it take out the broadhead arrow? Oh, I dropped all my crafted. It's just a it's oh. a pain in the butt trying to get them to uh, agree with each other. They need a fast it's switch usually menu. The one that's, it's usually when it's uh, the higher one up. Yep. Is the one that it goes for, but. Yeah, the quiver messes with the priority though. I've noticed that for oh. sure. And it seems like the quiver takes right to left. There's nothing here, so there's somebody close. No surprise. It might even be that same person. I bet we're doing a loop right behind them. Whoever went through the town there. What's this? Oh, yeah, that's right. I need to urinate. It's funny, we had a base on the other server up the hill from this garage, from this uh, gas station. And every time I come this way, I think, hmm, I wonder if I go up there, will there be landmines up there? I just can't help myself imagining that the dangerous traps I set are still there on this server. Hmm. 
Nice fresh spring breeze. You know, I can't wait for the summer weather to come in. I miss having that sunshine on my skin. Oh, Jesus, that scared me. I don't really care about the chicken. I just want the achievement. There's some kind of hunting achievement for archery. And when a chicken walks right in front of you like that, broadside, what are you going to do? I mean, you got to... You got to kill it. Yeah, it's, it was asking for it. <laughs> Shouldn't have dressed like that, you know? Somebody's been basing up here, right? Because we found locked doors and all that. I thought so. Yeah. At least just in one of the... One of the containers. I don't know if it's true base or if it's just how they just decide to put a locked door on everything. Well, I tried to lockpick one of these and failed an attempt, and I got zapped. So it's not just a lock. Oh. It's lockpick protection, too. Which tells me there's probably something valuable in there, or they do consider it home. They might have built a bed in there so they can respawn. Who knows? I don't really care, to be honest. Yeah, it's this one right here. Yeah. Let's see, I'm gonna make a lock pick. There's bunk beds yeah, in there. It's a gold lock too. Huh. <laughs> Coming to the back side. Oh, interesting. It's one of the Chinese ones too. Did you want it? <laughs> go hide it somewhere. Oh my gosh. Did you still we'll want to go to the, the dirt? Water. Did you want to go to the dirt bike track still? Or what do you say we just uh Oh my god. Take the shortcut here. Yep. I'll take a front wheel if you want to get a a rear wheel. Oh, I'll just take a toolbox aside. See what I can do. The rear wheel's the one with the the 110 sprocket on the right. 110. Okay, I got yeah. it. Let's see what I can do about getting some of these. Oh, they got bobby pins here too. Okay, we need a screenshot of this. Boat, yard, C3. Base with chest labeled in Chinese. Locked door with zapper. Boom. They've got some fuses. We probably don't need to take those, huh? No, we can leave those for them. I can't believe they left it sticking out of the wall like that. Right? Glad I saw it. Yeah, dude, that was a good good shout right there. We got to go check the rest of these containers. I wonder, can I put it back? But not the way it was. There we go. Just throw it on top? Yep. I'm Do you want me to pick up the other gas can? No, it's empty. That's okay. Oh. I don't have a card on me anyway. Do you have a card? Yes. Okay. Well, we're going to have you top this thing off then. Let's go do that. Go get the dirt bike straight so, away. Oh. Should I grab this other one then? No, I think just one gas container will be fine for us. All right. Yeah. The only thing we don't have yet is a jack. We can't do anything without a car jack. Oh, I sold one too. I don't know if that was before I killed myself. Yeah, that's all right. We can buy one. I don't. I don't know how much they cost, but it's worth it to have a running dirt bike. Yeah. 
actually get somewhere. Right. Gotta find a place to hide it, too. That's easier said than done. I'm all excited. We're not even that far away from it, either. No, we're nice and close. It's really nice of these guys. That to... was a yeah. huge find. They donated. It was very nice of them. A little community service. I do appreciate that. Thank you, gentlemen. Oh, I wonder what they're going to think when they find that chest on the roof there. Cheaters. They should have put it... They should have filled it up with bricks or something so we couldn't take it in hand. Because I wasn't able to open it until I moved it out. Yeah, that's craziness. I didn't realize you were, you were able to even grab it. Yeah, I had to try, man. I had to try. Boost of energy's gone now. I'm gonna take another sip of this. And we're at C2 exhaustion now, so it's just a little bit. But every little bit counts at this point. Okay, let's go buy a jack. There's a beeper up there. Oh, shit. They just couldn't have a jack. I know, I was kind of surprised by that. It's a little bit saddening. <laughs> There's always a chance we might find one in the vehicle workshop in town. It's true. We could take that chance, I suppose. There was nothing in there before, but it's been a while, so maybe uh -oh. everything is responding now. I didn't go in. You went in? No. I thought you said it was done. Yeah, I just saw the open doors. I didn't go in and check. Let's, let's check. There's a couple of garages I didn't check, too, so we'll hit the workshop first, and then we can check the garages if we have to. course I'm wearing out really easily because I've got four toolboxes on me now too. Oh my, yeah, that's that'll do the trick. At least we aren't going to overheat with the rain coming down. Yeah. Keep us nice and wet and cool. I'm surprised we haven't encountered anybody at this point. Server population's starting to go down though, 35 of 64 now. to think of how long it's been since we were in this town. I don't think the loot would have reset that quickly. I thought it was half hour. Has it been that long, though? I'm pretty sure it has. Might be. Gotta watch out. There's zombies uphill going down to the road. Sir, truck? That truck's down that there. Just wind? Oh, I don't know. I'm not hearing it. But that doesn't mean you're wrong. I'm going to go down into the town just in case you're right. The only truck I've seen... Uh, two trucks I've seen, but the one I've seen around here had six people in it last time. 
there's nothing we could do against them. They all had helmets and vests and everything. They were so kitted up. Rolling six deep. So these guys in chat, Sata, VTC, and Texas Cannon, d main and I killed both of them like three times each yesterday. Nice. And then they killed us once each. <clears throat> oh, there's puppets in the woods here. We're probably going to get some aggro. Just going to keep moving. How's your uh, stamina? Are you okay for the moment? Oh yeah, I laid down back there. Okay. I just now caught back up to you. <laughs> Let's see. We know we went through this, so if there's loot in here, that's a good indication that we had a loot reset. There's a hat on these tables that weren't there before. Okay. A sewing kit. Nice. Okay. Yeah, we got. We've been gone that long. There's a machete on the ground here. Did I drop that? I don't know. I have mine. <clears throat> yeah, it looks like mostly I mean, nothing, but we got a little. Little loot spawn. I, think I might start collecting this stuff to make a landmine or two. What does it all make? Uh, landmine needs duct tape, water bottle, gunpowder. And, and a piece of scrap metal. I've got an iron lock. Very cool. <laughs> okay. We're going to fill this dirt bike up with gas. At least we can do that. Then we can get rid of this container. Check the garages for. Oh my! Nice shots. Just trying hard not to shoot you. I do appreciate <laughs> that. Thank you. Cause these ones probably will hurt. Oh, it's it'll be an instant death. Just about guaranteed. I'll get the one on the right, farther back. Oh, missed. Wow, I missed twice. I think these arrows fly better than the wooden ones do, actually. I gotta go collect those now. One. Two, three. I'm still down one. You're not up an arrow, are you? Hmm. Where did it go? one out in the ocean. That's all right. We'll keep moving here. Yeah. Pretty sure the garages are here and then there's the bike just up the street on the right. Let's see if we can get real lucky here. A little bit of luck is what we need. 
leather backpack. Barking up the wrong tree. Keep our fingers crossed for that vehicle workshop because I am striking out here right now. Okay, where was this dirt bike? Sorry, I had a phone call if you were talking to uh, me. That's all good. I try to stay talking, man. Don't matter if anybody says anything back or not. I don't know if that's good, but nah, it's just a stream thing. Here we go. Oh, sorry. You you were going right, and that's all right. I'll sector spawn. I'm right here on your butt. I got a feeling there's going to be a whole lot of that going on, especially with the server rubber band in the way it does. I guess I should stop trying to melee because it seems to be the most lethal thing I do. Yeah, it, it, to me, you actually went running off to the right, so I shot it. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just start using the bow exclusively. That's okay. Where's the town? Come on, Trejo, get out of the handcuffs. Give me some control, please. There we go. Oh, I'm pretty darn close. Be back in just a second. How many fame points do you have now? Dang. Oh, it should have given you more, man. I went from like 120 to 57. I think you'd get a little bit more than, I don't know, what, a quarter of my fame points? I guess that's all they give you. No big deal. I know that's going to happen. I'll probably do it to one of my friends eventually. I did it to him earlier with the cleaver, so you can't worry about those sort of things. This playthrough, fame points don't really matter to us. And if I'm going to go in and cleaver stuff, I should just shout it out verbally, I guess. Say, hey, I'm going to go in melee. Please don't shoot. Like he said, I wasn't anywhere near on his screen where he shot. And that's just kind of a, a, a hazard on this particular server. Still unofficial, yes sir. Official US East number one. We're sticking with this. We've got a lot of action here. We've got some goals, some friends we're playing with outside of the squad. So we're getting dug in. There's a pen for making landmines with. All right, I'm almost there. Oop, if I don't shut myself in anyway. There we go. Got that silver ground texture glitch going on. Let's see, where did that happen? Up here on the left. If you find my see my body, I'm I'm standing right over you for my name. Okay. It should be... We're right in the dead center of the town. Yep. Yeah, I see the military tents. I see your name now. We're coming up from the south. Southeast. Yep, I see you. Yep. I definitely think 
it's a good thing that this game has friendly fire. It makes sense for it. But I do wish if a squad mate killed you, they didn't get your fame points. And it was just yeah. less of a fame point um, reduction. But that's all right. We'll get them back. They're cheap. My body here? There's that zombie. It's right here. Oh, man. But I don't see we it. We did this before. Do I, I need to probably claim it. Okay. And search it, and then it should everything should appear. Yep. Did you, did you stub appear? Yeah, I can see it now. We had that, me and Nico had that one time in a bunker. Cool. Alright, do you see anything that I'm leaving behind other than the empty vest and the boots? Uh, no. Alright, let's move. We ain't gonna let that slow us down. I think the dirt bike's right up here somewhere close, maybe. I think where else there would be garages. So then the next question will be, do you just want me to leave them alone if you're uh, if you're uh, going after the zombies? Yeah, I was just thinking about that. Maybe I'll I'll call out if I'm going in for a melee kill. And did he die or is he? Yeah, I think he died from fall damage. Definitely dead. Here's the dirt bike. Boom, that's plenty of fuel to get us to the gas station anyway. I'm gonna go low, looking for more garages, any type of mechanical thing, mechanical place. ATM here. Rebar cutter. Oh, that's nice. Surprisingly valuable item. I'm always surprised when I see how much they sell for. More than the toolboxes? Uh, I don't know. I don't know that I've ever really sold toolboxes. In the last playthrough, we were so well established, every toolbox was a blessing. Because it was one we didn't have to craft to upgrade the base or whatever. Maintain gear. I guess I could put the wheel on. That would give me a lot more space. Yeah, if you got a car jack. Oh, that's right. That was the other thing we're searching for. Yep. That's what we're looking for. If we can find a car jack, we're in business. We can ride that thing right on into the trader zone. Buy a repair kit for it. All the good stuff happens all at once. And then the thing to do probably is when we log out, if we're going to leave the dirt bike behind, whoever's closest to it should put a wheel in their backpack. You doing okay? Yep. Want me to come jump in front of an arrow for you? Yeah. empty bags here. Not a whole lot at the pharmacy. Kind of hoping to find some antibiotics. Triple Paris. carrying this rebar hold, uh, cutter. Mm. Yeah, we'll definitely we'll do something right now. One way or another we'll get these wheels. Uh, even if we have to go make a box in the woods to bury them, hide them. I know there's a couple more garages in this town. At least a couple more. I think this building's got one on one of its sides. No, it doesn't. Hmm. Well, if, uh, 
the gas station reset, then there should be some there. Yeah, it's pretty common to find them at the gas stations, isn't it? Zombie just did a combo on me. I've never seen that. Uh oh. We got a horde. You need help? I'm gonna be okay as long as you are. I'm far away from you. I can't even see your name. Okay. Yeah, they're coming in kind of a trickle right now. I see your name. You're just far enough that your name keeps popping in and out. There we go. Yeah, no worries. There's a lot more fuss than yeah. it was action. All these gas station or all these garages up here are closed, so. Okay, checking this one now. Just found a, like a workshop one. On a drill. I don't need that. I kind of want this drill. I don't think I have room for it though. Triple carrying. Come on, scum. Give us a a carjack, that's all we're looking for right now. One singular focus. Concentrated effort. There's a couple more garages down the hill here, if I'm not mistaken. Ooh, I might be wrong. Won't be any down there because there's no road. But if we keep looking up this way, along the street, maybe just maybe we could find a garage. What do we need to make a wooden chest? In case I need to start collecting those things. Two bolts, rope, and planks. Okay. Or two nails. I'll start collecting that right now. Rubber band. Some scrap metal. And some nails. I just found a, a pistol in a car. A broken down car. Really? That's crazy. Oh, I kind of want to make room for that. Drop those, can't I? And then move you over, and there's room. <laughs> I got a nice free pistol out of a broken down car. That's the first time that's ever happened to me. Same kind of gun you're carrying, too. We could break it down into parts to repair yours, actually. That'd be nice. Yeah. I, mine's at 61%. Yep, we will do that. To be sure, to be sure. We have some of these olives. Come on now. Make a man starve to death out here. Okay, checking for landmines. I've seen them here before. I got a car jack. Let's go. Really? Yep. Nice. We're going to have to come back for this drill, but I've got a car jack. Headed back to the dirt bike right now.
couple more spots we could hit in town while we're here. But I got a feeling we're going to just get on the bike and ride it straight to the Trader City. It's probably the best course of action so we can get it repaired and uh, start putting it to work. Hopefully this one doesn't get stolen from us. I'd really like to be able to treat Corpse to a dirt bike when he logs in. I think that would be amazing. After losing the one that he found for us that he spent all the time going and getting the wheels, he triple carried from the junkyard all the way back to like B4 or B3. Man was an absolute trooper. Never complained once about it. But you know it's got to hurt your heart a little bit. So we'll make it up to him now with this situation. I think I think he'll, he'll smile. And he's one of those guys, when you hear a smile in his voice, it really means something. Man's so stoic. Here we go. This is where we had our horde called in on us. So, oh, there's a friend. Don't worry about me, friend. There we go. You don't even know where I am. See, I'm gone. I'm gone. You don't know. I'm so close now. I just have to imagine I'm going to get shot in the face. It's going to happen. And I'm here. Let's go. Oh, why is it rocking? Don't do that. Dang it. Yeah, because that then you can't do anything to it, can you? Nope. I don't think it was doing that before. No, it wasn't because I was able to fill it with fuel. Huh. Let's both, uh, let's Let's relog. Sometimes that'll fix little problems like this. I should probably not just let that sit on the ground. Yeah. Yeah, I'm logging out with the jack in my hand. I'm not even risking it. And come on, good news. Are you, for Are you force logging out? Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't have any effect. The The only thing that means is if you wait the 60 seconds, you get to listen to hear if anybody's coming. If your character's there no matter what you do. Force log closes you out while your character's still hanging around. But there's no, no ill consequence to it. The DayZ mod for Arma 2 used to have a mechanic. If you logged out it would make you wait like 30 seconds or something to prevent people combat logging. That was not optional. Ah, it's still rocking. There it is. Got it. Let's go. What is this? Do you see a, bl a floating blue thing over here? Yes. That's weird, right? Yes, because that's right where I came in at. Oh, you see it there. I see this one over here, right? I'm s my head is inside of it right, right now. So it's where we it's where we logged in at, I think. Huh. Funny. And is it gone now? It just disappeared. Yeah, that's <clears> weird. <throat> um. So did my rebar. Yeah, that's because I put it in my backpack. Oh. Yep. Cool, we can get rid of this yeah. blueprint now. Because I have... I've got a uh, room in mine now. Yeah. Well, we'll go We'll go get the drill that I dropped, and then go to the Trader City and get this thing repaired. I forgot about the weird roads in this town. I should have gone the other direction. Oh, 
Oh, it's so weird moving around the world with this texture glitch. Everything looks so flat. Pretty high risk, but we'll make the best of it. See if we can find a repair kit here for free. That would be really nice. Get off. There. Take you in this direction. Yes, sir. Okay, I got a repair kit now, too. Uh, do you have room for that? I should. Yep. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's go to the Trader City. We'll sell what we found and repair the bike there. We're sitting pretty now, baby. Here's the hope when we don't get shot at on the way in. Because if I saw two guys on a dirt bike, I'd shoot at them. That's a fully loaded like that. Jeez. What's that? My backpack just looks fully loaded. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mine's hiding, luckily, because it is fully loaded. Oh, my goodness, this server. She's struggling. Most things aren't streaming in right now. Hey there, Nico. How you doing, bud? Glad you could join us. How did things go with Sucrabu today? Is he enjoying your challenge? Oh, oh, oh. It's okay. Everything's fine. We're professionals. Besides that, we know where to get replacement wheels, right, Monkey? Yep. Oh, this feels good. I love having a vehicle. The map just got smaller, baby. The only problem is now somebody's going to have to carry a card on them, which is risky. Yeah. Well, I have been anyways, so... Oh, oh, oh. That worked out. It's okay. Yeah, we'll give you a little bit of bonus cash here. We'll make sure you get a healthy share of the profits on this sell. That'll help cover fuel e expenses. My goodness, did I forget how to drive or what? Sukrabu. Hey, we are having a great time. I heard you gave Nico's challenge a, a shot. What'd you think? I'm looking forward to trying it myself. A real survival challenge. Oh, you got a couple toolboxes on hand, right? Yep. Here's some cash. I'm going to disassemble this. There you go. And we'll repair this. The legend himself has arrived. Sukrabu. That took it up to an 86%, so that's pretty good. Yeah, that's a lot better. I'm feeling slightly warm. Of course I am. I bet you are. Good challenge, yes. Yeah, I figured it would take a while. I, I read the instructions. There's Sukerboo's YouTube channel. Everybody go ahead and check that out. It's a great streamer, great content creator. Supporter of our channel as well. Yeah, I was reading the, the description that Nico laid out, and it looks like it's going to be tough. It's going to take some time. Not a legend. <laughs> hey, you're a legend in my eyes. Legend in my eyes. All right, sell all this stuff. 
and start uh, turning the profits into gasoline, I guess. Welcome, welcome. Feel free Destruction to pants, away. rebar cutter. We don't need these toolboxes for anything. Well, well yeah. 155 bucks, though. I'm going to repair gun parts with it. I think that's probably a good move. There we go. Nico says hello. Hello, hello. $379 for that drill. Right? Three, 306 for the rebar cutter. Not even in great condition either. So there's 471 from this fella alone. I don't know that I have a whole bunch else to sell right now, though. What I have are screwdrivers that we need to put to work. You want the locker? Is it worth taking, getting thirty five dollars? I say get the thirty five bucks for it. Iron locks are kind of, I don't know, Pointless. they're symbolic. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, I've got a helmet here. I'm gonna go sell some stuff at the armory guy. Get the cash together. We're gonna have to top this bike up pretty soon. And I think what we'll do is ride over to the no, torpedo factory. Move. We might give that a shot, see if there's any action over there. And if we can slip right in, we will bust open a couple of the lockers, use up some of these screwdrivers, and then we got to find a hiding place for the dirt bike near there, because that's sort of becoming a pseudo base area for us right now. Not in any established sense, just in the sense Register. that we're congregating there consistently. Yeah. Nobody cares. Okay, this helmet can go. This stuff is just for making bandages with. I'll set it aside for now. Uh, Trejo gloves I'll wear. Hopefully we can empty out my pants and my vest so I don't have to keep wearing those because this is a naked playthrough to the extent that it can be. At any rate, I'll wear clothes to make inventory space when I need to. I'll have a go ahead. You'll need you can have all this later. stuff, man. I'll tell you what. Never mind about the expiration date. Those are there you go. I'll be here. And that's a pair of pants we can take off. Boom. Gloves and masks only. Gloves and masks only. 24 hours online. Goodness, Nico. You need a, you need a break, my friend. Kick back, have a good strong beer. Put your feet up. Maybe get some food in that belly. The missile factory, the train yard, the airfield. Yeah, it, it's you're absolutely... I agree completely. The airfield, not to be underestimated, right? Even without an airplane, good loot there. Very good loot. Um, what else do I have? Um, we're going to hold on to this repair kit. We might bury it in one of our boxes. And I'm trying to start gathering up materials to craft a landmine. Because I think it would be could come in handy with what we've seen going on around the server. All right, monkey, here's some cash for you. I'll let you handle that. And I think what we'll do next, do you still have a little little gaming in you at this point? Oh, yeah. Okay. We're going to go hit the torpedo factory next. We're going to hide the okay. bike and all that good stuff. Take a knee. Catch you guys on the next one. Have fun. Well, thanks for stopping in, y'all. Absolutely. We'll see you soon. Unfortunately, I can't watch that VOD yet until I have my turn at the challenge, but I'm looking forward to my my turn and then watching you go through it. Curious how we're going to attack it. I'm sure each of us will have his own way of going about things. And as far as food goes, I'm still doing okay. I'm definitely running, like, risky here, right? We're getting a little bit lower than we should, probably, but... If I get lucky, I'll find food at the next gas station because there's a little market attached to it. Yeah, monkey, you got a little bit, you said? Yeah. Okay. I still have some biltong and some cheese, but it's not going to last too much longer. I've got 20 things of cereal. Nice. 
How about your account balance? How is that doing? Amazing. Good. We're in the eight. Okay. Yeah, I figure I'm not too worried about having big cash reserves right now. I want to make sure that everybody has cash, so when somebody dies and their account gets drained, we can all help bring them back. Kind of, what would you say, uh, spread the risk to mitigate it? Sort of a socialized risk, really. I heard a wise man say one time, I'm a communist with my family, a socialist with my friends, and a capitalist with my country. I think that works out pretty good. Sold a, uh, what do you call them, key card for the D D4 bunker. Sold one to a guy yesterday for $5,000. He actually came through with it, too. Wow. Shocked. Fully expected to get ripped, up, ripped off. I wasn't going to use it anyway, so if he just stole it and walked away, I wouldn't have cared too much. But the fact that he actually paid for it means if we find another key card, we need to contact that gentleman. Yeah. So we'll hit this gas station real quick up ahead and then we're going to find a quiet spot in the woods with a nice thick bush to try and hide the dirt bike in. Laters, Nico. Thanks for hopping in, bud. Get you some rest, man. You need it. You burned it. Going wide around the city here. There's definitely people in the city. good shape with this bike the only thing that concerns me is a rager if a rager spots us on the roads our best bet is going to be going off-road but it's going to get risky it's going to become real dangerous especially if there's more than one person in the truck they can start shooting at us okay we've got open garages we've got a beat car looks like nobody's here right now could be wrong Where's my pistol? Why is that not hot barred? Oh, because I died, that's why. Okay, we got kind of rubbish food loot here right now. Somebody probably went through already. Got a banana, cat food. I'm not even picking that up. It's disgusting. It's a big gas can. Okay. Interesting. No puppets. Oh yeah. What'd you get? Another another repair kit. Excellent. Twenty out of twenty bobby pins. I already got that though. Do you need bobby pins? No, I got a lot of bobby pins. Okay. Got a small gas can here. Did you go through these garages here already? Yeah. Okay. Oh no, those not those out not there. Not these. No. Okay. Oh, duct tape. I need that. Need that to make a landmine with, baby. Blow somebody up. Another gas can. All right. I think I'm about ready to move. You went through this, right? The workshop. Yep. Thought so. Let's press on. That was quick and efficient. That's the way I like it. Oh, you're going to make me a bedroom on the bot server? Well, thank you, sir. I might be able to make my way over there at some point. Do one of these afternoon streams there or something. Certainly haven't ever tried it yet. 
and I'm open to new things. Okay, let's see what kind of... The, the problem here is all this woods is between the rail yard and the torpedo factory, which means it's going to be high traffic. Out to the train, train ride. Yep. Thank you. I want to go east at this point. Oh, 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 oh. Got the tree. Pretty dead right now. Not a huge pop. Yeah. Is it PvP? What's the name of the server? base right there, huh? See that? Yes, I do. Doesn't look like much of a base, though. No, indeed. Just be careful. They could be here, of course. landmine diggins best I can kind of hard to tell but it'll be a little bulge in the ground and I think if you manage to put your cursor right over it it'll probably say you know landmine disarm or something like that 100 PvP oh, that's cool new bland is the bot server forge is vanilla high pop I see Right about now, I wish I'd brought that metal detector with me. Oh, what's this? Look like the land rises right there. There's a campfire. It's basically just wood. If there's going to be chests, it's going to be probably buried chests. Yeah, log sheds. 14 days. Yeah, they were here very recently, huh? Okay, this is a crazy spot for a base. Let me take a better print screen there. Okay, I'll post that into Discord later. Sounds like you might be hungry. Oh, I'm okay for right now, thank you. I'll eat this. Uh, yeah, just just under 50%. Still trying to lose weight, so I'm happy with that. Okay. Our little encampment isn't far from here either. So we're going to go towards it, but we'll have to be careful. You've got a real nice base planned out. Is it something you've been working on in a like a creative server? Solo play or ideas in your head? I like a nice face, man. Adds a lot to the game having the a, a well organized, well constructed base makes the game a lot more interesting. I could try to raid you for stream? Uh perhaps. It would take some time to put together raid material though. Like I said, I'm trying to focus this server right now. Let's see. Where's the big rock? I think our chests are right here. Let me check. Somebody find them. Hold on. One thing at a time. Let's place down a blueprint so we can find this spot again. And then, is this the big rock? 
or is this the big rock and the chests are down here? There's yep. another blueprint over here. Chests are down here. Okay. Good, good, good. I think this is probably right about where I want to store the dirt bike. Not in the chests, but somewhere nearby them. So let me see if I can find a thicker bush. It's a pretty thick one right over here. Yeah, there's a couple of good options. One down here. Oh yeah, that's a good one. That's a really good one. I can't even see it right now, and I'm on it. Yeah. Okay. That means I need to cancel these other blueprints. Boom, boom. And place one there. And then one there. Yeah, here's the chests. Okay. I don't think... Yeah, I didn't bring any bolts or anything with me. I wasn't really planning on making another chest, but what I will do is dig up one of these chests and put the, the bike stuff in it. You've done like 50 raids, you'll give me material. Okay, well uh, send me send me a private message in the Discord, in Discord, and we'll we'll talk about putting something together. That could be fun. Let's see, I need an axe. Make a little stone axe head here. Craft up some rope. You need me to craft anything? Yeah, you don't have an axe yet, do you? No. Just start working on rope then. Yeah, we're going to need two ropes, so I'll make one here if you want to make another one. Oh. Oh, gunfire. Yep. They're down there. Definitely came from down the hill, right? Torpedo factory. That's what it sounded like, yeah. yeah. All right. I'm going to make an axe. Currently craftable stone axe. Then we'll cut a tree. We need a plank. We can make a shovel. Kind of want to go down there and look at what's happening. Curious now. I want to put the good stuff away before I do it, so the only thing I would go in with would be, I don't know, I guess my arrows and, and my bow and maybe the pistol. Okay, what do we have here? Do you have that rope on you by chance? Yep. Drop it on the ground. Very nice. Should be there. What am I missing? <coughs> Long stick. This in hand. Should be some over here, right? Yeah, yeah. Here we go. I got it. Yeah, I definitely want to see what's going on down there. I love the sound of gunshots. I mean, something fun's about to happen. Do you want to get up by that rock up there and just stay low and try and look and listen? If somebody starts coming this way, give me a heads up. Could be exciting. 
I'm getting the tinglys all over. Oh, there's a dirt bike. You hear the dirt bike? Yep, I hear a dirt bike. I'm gonna stop digging. Crouching in a bush. Okay, the dirt bike's gone. I, it sounded like they were southwest of us. It was brief. I don't know if they came into and out of auditory range or if they just stopped moving. But with the suddenness that it appeared, I don't know. I don't think they were coming this way at any rate. We'll hear them if they are. Salt pack. Let's see, we've got. Oh, did you dig up already? I've got a box dug up now, yes. Got arrows in there. Pack of smokes and a lighter. Handgun and magazine. Water. Boom. There we go. There's my kit. Uh, equip. So I still have my pistol. I still have arrows. There's a, you could use that orange backpack, yep. You know what you're doing. We ain't risking anything we don't need to, right? I'm not even worried about food right now. So are we taking our gun? I'm taking my pistol. You don't have to, but I don't, I don't care. It was free, you know? You can find another. Um... See if I can make better room in this box for you. I have enough room. There we go. There we go. Okay, good. Because I just have my arrows. I think I'm good. Okay. You took your holster off? Yep. Oh, I guess mine was a really good holster. Yeah, I should probably do that. Yeah, I don't want them to see me with anything. I want I want to look super primal, so there's a chance they don't think I'm as much a threat as I am, you know? Should I put the card in here, or destroy it? Destroy it. We got enough fuel in the bike, we can get back to the Trader City. You ready for me to bury? Are we going naked? I always go naked, brother. It's the only way. I want my enemies to see my naked body as I murder them. Be ashamed. Alright, I think it's good. Okay. What? Can I bury? Huh? Why would it not let me bury? Let me in. Now will it let you? Oh, were you in the inventory? I I thought I was out of it, but it's I still had it attached, I guess. Mm, nope, that doesn't seem to be making a difference. You want to try? See if you can do it? That's odd. I'm trying to think of what would stop me from burying an inventory, or burying a chest. It's only 60.5 kilograms. I don't think that should make a difference anyway. I stood up to go and bury it, but... It won't let you, huh? Uh -uh. Okay, let me try this. Did 
too close to the other one. Maybe, yeah. It's burying it now, so... Yeah. That must Probably be what it was on top of the other one, yeah. It's funny, because I didn't move it. That's just how it came out of the ground. I like this primal look, man, with the backpack and everything. Kind of cool. Good Jesus. Okay. Shovel, or are we just gonna make another one? Yeah, I think just make another one. I don't want any hint of where the buried treasure is, you know. I say just chuck it in a direction. Evo! Just wait until we get closer to it, and then we'll just drop it down there. Make it search next to the. Yeah, if I was you, I'd aim that way and just hit G. Yeet the thing, dude. It'll go a mile. Yeet! There she goes! Never to be found again. Yeah, it's annoying crafting them up, but I, I think it really, it's the only way. Otherwise, you're going to leave a hint of where the chests are, and it'll despawn if you're gone too long, so no point in putting it somewhere special. there's somebody down there because we heard the gunshots and it wasn't mech shots even if it was we would know there was somebody down there we might have to get a little bit closer than we want to see anything valuable because i'm looking at the roof where i know that there's crates and stuff and they're not rendering at this distance i wonder how far a player renders in well, we know it's at least a thousand yards. That's true. We were looking at Nico from that far, huh? Still don't see any detail on the roof. Possible I'm looking at the wrong roof. Be the one with the blue thing on it. Yeah, I might have been looking at the wrong roof. No, I'm looking at the right roof. I don't see the, the crates. But the door is open to the side entrance. Uh, or it's, it's closed, I mean. Not open. about ground level. Is this door open down here? Is that you? Nope. So obviously there's something. That was me, unfortunately. Getting a I'm okay. Yeah, I'm okay, but I just alerted them that we're here. Okay, did you see which mech that was? Nope. Me either, but we should be able to tell by the lights if we get close enough. I'm working my way west right now. It sounded like it came from this direction. Yeah, it does. Yeah, all I, I can see the mech is camping this building right here. Oh, I see players. I see two. Just went in. Wish I could do a tactical ping. There's two. 
running across. Hmm. Looks like they're inside. Uh, you see the building to the left of the blue cranes? The larger building? Yeah. They're in that one right now, as far as I could tell. I bet they got some loot on them, too. We might make a, make a play here. What do you say? Sure. See if we can get in without them knowing we're in. It's the real trick. I wish we had a third man who could stay up here on Overwatch and tell us where they're moving because I don't imagine they're going to stay there forever. But they oh. could be popping lockers, which takes a couple of minutes at least. Yell, don't yell, don't yell. Thank you. I didn't want to do that. I've crossed the road. I'm hugging the wall here. I'm going to start crouch walking. I wonder if these are the guys that are building the base right up the hill. That could be, because it seems pretty uh, new. Yes. How comfortable are you here with these mechs? Do you know Do you know them, or do you want me to wait for you to guide you a little? I don't know much about it. Okay. If you keep moving along that wall, there will be a door on your left. Give me just a second. I got someone at my door. Okay. Yep. Hi. Pretty good yourself? That's the Corsair boys. Yeah. Yeah, he's bad back there. I ended up uh, going to the wire base. Okay. We're going to wait for this... Um, Wait for this mech. I guess we're waiting for Monkey, too. But we're gonna just do... Oh, look at that. Will that fit there? Person's here to bury my aloe lines, so this might not be a good time to be doing this. Oh, okay. Because well, they're going to, uh, at some point, I'm going to be down for 10 minutes. I see. Well, if you want to go back up to the kit, rather than risk getting cut out while you're in the middle of the torpedo factory, it's up to you. Your call. I just, I don't want to be right in the middle of something and then yep. we freak out because I'm, I'm gone. So. Oh, understood. I'm going to keep hunting these guys. God, I really want to hunt well, you guy. know what you can do, though, is try and keep a watch on them from up there until you yeah. do cut out. That'd be helpful. But do you, want, do you, do you think I'm going to be able to see them without binoculars? Yeah, I think so. I mean, if you see specs running around, you know they're not That's true. puppets. Yeah, I see zombie parts right here. They... We're here, clearly. Um, yeah, they're... Oh, no, that's just the other mech. There's two mechs right next to each other over here. really hope they're still in this building, because if they are, I should be able to get the drop on them. I drop the shovel. I don't really need it. Okay, 
Okay, I'm crouch walking. I think I even know, knows exactly what... I don't know if that's you, but somebody's on the right side of the building. Yep, moving away from you. Yeah, yep, that's, that's me. you? Yep. Okay, so I, obviously I can see some stuff. Yes. Your car despawned on 01. Ah, oh, that sucks, Crow. Sorry to hear it. Alright, I have to open this door. I don't see any movement in here. I'm just going to bunker down in the corner for a moment. I wonder where they went. It looked like they were going to run across... Um, to the west from this building that I just went in to the next one across. Okay, clearing rooms. So far I don't hear anything. I don't see anything. Finish this corner right here, and then I can move to the other span of buildings here. I hope this was the building they were in. Oh. Hmm. Might have heard footsteps. Not sure. They're in a different building now. There's only a, one other room they might be in here. Oh, was that my feet? Yep, that's me stepping on these cords. Okay. Okay, I don't see him in this building. I'm not seeing anything out here. Looks like they're closing doors behind them. Yep, that was me. Still don't see or hear anything. I've never been in this building before. This stair set to the second floor inside. Looks like there's a bit of an office here. Kind of a dead end. And nobody, yeah, nobody here. Interesting. This door is open, but it's open in. And that door is open out. I don't know if these doors can be closed. Oh, here's some Trejo pants on the floor, and they're wet. Yep, these are open this way. I'm going to cross again. You see me? I do not. Okay. So they might have moved this way while you were on Overwatch, and you might not have seen them. Okay. Getting in the uh, um, south building. Oh, he's shooting at something. I don't know if that's me or not. Yeah, I moved he's south. He's walking. He's... Yeah, he wants to go to that south building. 
The one that I... Oh, yeah, he's shooting at me. Okay. That's not good. That means they're going to know I'm here now. And you haven't seen them once yet. I wonder if they left. Oh, here's a player's BCU. Maybe they fled out. Yeah, that's possible. There's no gear other than a shovel. I think they're in that building still. No, it's not. The one I'm in? I don't know. Do you see my name? Is the mech still over you? Yeah. No, mech's not on me. He's going back to the first building you went in, and I thought I saw a shot of moving there. Okay. I'm going to head back that way. Yeah. They're running around in the middle of that building. Okay. Very good. All right. I might be... It sounds like I might be getting booted off here in a second. Yes, sir. Boy, I'd give anything for a glass of water. Downtime? All right. Sounds good. Thank you. All right. Yep. I'm going to get blocked off, so I'll just stay on until I can't can't play anymore. Yeah, I just saw one of them poking their head out. I bet they saw me. But they're still getting shot at by the mech. So they're stuck in this it's, building. Are you on the right side of the building? I am. Okay. Yeah, they're running around in the middle, it looks like. Oh, now the building you were just in, they just, uh, it, the mech is uh, on it. Okay, they the probably, south building. Probably crossed over to get away from me. Oh, I got one of them. Oh, one of them got me. I'm dead. Whoa, ho, ho. He was waiting outside the door there. Or he came right across when he heard me shoot. Hmm. Are you hearing mech action? Oh, he might have gotten downed. Okay. I'm going to try and get back in there with a machete. That guy was quick with a pistol, though. It'll be tough. I don't have a backup gun, though. Got no fame points anyway, so I'm not losing anything right now if I go for it. I made the same mistake I always make, though. I didn't... I should have shot and then hid, knowing there was another one. This is probably going to be the death of me right here. Pretty reckless. Uh, how do I get down? That could have been worse. Okay, I don't think I'm going to find anything good right now. The odds that I find a gun with a bullet, almost zero. And that guy's definitely got my gun now, and his own. Let's get back in there. It ain't over yet. see bodies over there.
Okay. He's outside the door. He did loot my body, it looks like. Or maybe not. Oh, my stuff's still here. He took my gun somehow. Dang it. Oh, sheesh. I, I don't know why I put my melee weapon away. The pain was really hurting me. That was the problem. I, I thought I was going to have to shoot him with the bow, so I tried to put my melee weapon away. And it did the thing where it switched numbers 1 and 2 on me, which really sucks. So now probably all that stuff's gone, but that's all right. I think they're both there. Oh, or are you talking about your cars? Uh, Try one more time. Right? He's going to be tough to get with that pistol. He's clearly a pretty good shot. Doesn't really seem to miss much. You saw two players? Okay. So one of them sector spawned, or he had a bed, maybe. They're both going to have guns now because they got my pistol. It's an odd choice to leave all that stuff on the floor. I was kind of hoping the mech would make trouble for him. But that didn't seem to happen. Let's destroy this straight away. I mean, it, I'm really not losing anything right now, right? The only thing it's costing me is a couple thousand bucks, which who cares? We'll make that back in no time. And since somebody, monkey, took all my fame points earlier, this is just free attempts. I get free tries to try and take these fools out. Let's go one more time here, and then I'll probably, probably call the stream done. It's been a good long one. But if I could get my stuff back and some of theirs, that would be great. I can't believe I gave him that first kill, though. I should have... I should have backed up. This is the, the same mistake I always make as I get too excited and I make a bad tactical decision and leave myself exposed. I'll try one more time. See if we get back in there. I hope I'm going the right direction. Oh, good. My survival leveled up. Yeah, we're going the right way. West and a little bit north. On. It's tough fighting a pistol with a knife. If I can get close enough to him and maneuver, it'll be all right. But he's he's putting pretty good shots on me. I wonder what kind of pistol it is. Oh, I want this so bad right now. Still a good ways away, though, isn't it? Yep, I'm not playing it tactically enough. I should have just hid. Once he started shooting at me, I should have hid and stayed hidden and waited for him to come around the corner, because then I could have macheted his face right off, and he wouldn't have been able to shoot me. Even if he did, it would have been at least a, a close fight, but me going out in the open like that was basically just giving him a kill. Very amateurish. I 
question is, are they still going to be there? Because if they are both there, and neither one of them's hurt right now, um, you know, they're probably going to get out. There's not much left for them to gain. Actually, I do have a shotgun back up in the box. But who knows? Probably not worth it. Get in here, Kenya zombies. Okay, we've got our sound turned all the way up, right? So they're going to have to come... Well, they don't have to come this way, but... The only reason he would stay there is if he was waiting for his friend to come back and collect his things. That was my assumption. That's the reason I ran right back in. Because I was like, well, I killed his buddy. He's going to want to come back and get his stuff. Can't really tell. All I can hear right now is the sound of water. We're gonna jog. This might be another free kill for them, but that's okay. I'll not be bothered by that. At least I made the right decision to hide all my things before I came running in. So really, what did I lose? A crafted bow and some carbon arrows? I could buy those back. Well, Somebody can buy them back for me. I don't have the fame anymore, but... Okay. Let's play this cool. Make sure I go in with good stamina. Especially if I'm planning on trying to get a melee kill against the guy with a pistol. And then I gotta just run cover to cover. Go for room to room. Try and draw him in. Seems like there's no one here right now. Yeah, if they were smart, they just left. And if I was lucky, they had too much stuff to carry my things. Not that I really had anything worth anyway. Stop right there. Is that me? Can't tell. Were they both shooting at me at the same time? Hmm. Or do we still have company? Oh, there's a dead guy out there. Crazy.
Why does he have nothing on him? I am very confused. That guy had nothing. Maybe it got destroyed by a big burst. Big old gun blast. Hmm. He had nothing in these trousers. They got my arrows and my bow, which is probably wise. Should run across. Maybe they got shot and they're bleeding out in this other building, right? Back on? Yep, I can hear you. I'm back in. Did it come? Did it come up out good or bad? Uh, they killed me twice. I killed one of them, but I'm having trouble even figuring out where they went. They might have left at this point, which is okay because all my good stuff's back at the the boxes there anyway. All they got yeah. was a pistol. One of them seems to have died to the mech out in the middle of everything, but that body's been cleared. There's no loot left on it, as far as I can tell. I'm gonna go double check right now. Sad I'm back on my rock. Looks like I lost this one outright. I've gained nothing, and they've killed me twice, but that's okay. Tried anyway. And so what? They just kept coming in, also. Uh, yeah. One of them. One of them I killed with the pistol. He was holding only a melee weapon. And then before I could make any real decisions or do anything smart, the other guy came through the door and shot me before I could shoot him. And I have no idea where they've gone at this point. They got my stuff, and it seems like they got all their stuff back, too. That's all right. I'm going to just go down this way as a kind of Hail Mary. Maybe they're going to risk looting more. Need to come down? Mm, no, I think probably just stay safe. I'm going to clear this if I can and then head right back. See if they maybe are in this building here. The guy's aim with the pistol is pretty good. Got to give him that. like to find a backpack right now. Found a couple of little loot items here that I'd bring back if I could, but it's okay. I don't see them. And there's no puppets. They're probably gone.
Might as well check these lockers for a backpack. Seeing as how I'm here anyway. Yeah. Are you up on? Are you in the little shed? Yeah, up the up high one over the docks. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I just saw something moving over there. So. Yep, that's me. I don't know. I would guess if they're anywhere, they're going to be in the south end, or they've left. That's probably it. So the they're either closer to you, and to your right, or they've left entirely. But at this point, they both have a gun. Right, the guy who shot me had one, and then they took mine. Yeah, I think they're gone. I don't see hide nor hair. Then I'm not seeing anything over here. I'm working back towards you right now. I'm just clearing rooms as I go. Sure, they're gone. There's those Trejo pants, yeah. I got a shovel, so we don't have to make one this time. That's good. Yeah. But somebody with more fame points than me is going to have to buy me some new arrows. Because I have 18. I have 61. That actually might be enough. Need for some broadhead medals. Which is fine by me. <gasps> that was good and exciting. I definitely need to get better at, at my PvP out in the world here, because... I made a we made one really clear mistake, two clear mistakes. But experience that's how we learn. All right, stream. I think I'm going to call it here. It's been a good long early stream. We got 4 hours. Normally I try to do just 3 early in the day, but I'll be back around 5 or 6. It's probably a little closer to 6 considering how long this ran. And hopefully we can get these fame points in the next stream. I want to thank you all for watching. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you're new here. Until the next one, I'm Musical Mayhem. This is Scum. I'll see you all in the next video.